I got me an elf bar, Mikey. I got this uh, sweet silver luster lost Mary. What is it? It's called a Lost Mary, but it's their luster series. Oh wow! Like highfalutin over here. It's fancy, fancy. All right. It's got three different fruits in it. Whoa! I'll tell you about all that in just a second. Live on a radio show coming up. Just a second. Stay tuned. Hey there, kids. It's me, Oni the Unicorn. And I'm here to tell you that f***ing your dreams ain't cheap. In fact, it costs a f ton of cash to do. So that's why me and the Ono oh Radio Show need your help. Just go to the website displayed below and hit us up with some cash, yo. One dollar, five dollars, f*** a million dollars if you have it to spare. Any amount is appreciated. Well, I gotta go because these dreams ain't gonna fuck themselves. See ya! <laughs> no, 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 no! No! God, please, no! Oh no! Oh no! You are listening to the Oh No Radio Show. Eat a bag of dicks. Is it just me, or do fat paramedics make you feel a little bit uncomfortable? of the Oh No Radio Show. It's myself, the captain of the ship ship, along with me tonight is just, well, right now, just right now, it's uh, it's the good old, it's just good old Mike B. It's just me and good old Mike B over here on the, hey, on the show. Hey, It's Mike B. And, yeah. uh, and you know what? You know what, Mike? Sometimes it's better to leave these drunken degenerates out of uh, out of the out of the show. Uh, less less is more, Owen. May, less may, is more. Maybe maybe we'll talk about that later. Maybe we won't. But uh, yeah, maybe Ty will be joining us in the second portion of the program. Uh, but yeah, um, good to have you here with me, Mike. You doing all right? I'm doing fantastic. I had a great day today. Good. I love hearing did a, I love hearing that. I did a little uh, I went to our good friends, Tom and Dan's studio and brought them some lunch and then sat in on their show. All right. Yeah. So I mean, they are one of our pod friends. They're not one of our pod foes that we uh I mean, we've got well, some One of them was there. One of them was mm-hmm. probably there. I would imagine she was uh hanging around there. Being a, did she try and like, hey, promote me? You know, like first thing, like, hey, you know, like, you know, don't, she, don't forget. Yeah, to, she actually, when I got there, she's like, how come you didn't mention semantics on the last episode? Yeah, I'm yeah. Like, well, I, every time, every, I mean, every time I talk with her, I mean, it's basically sorry, Samantha. Sorry, like, yeah. I mean, the thing is, here's the thing, you know, like people accuse us of being like you know, false, like being like fake, being kind of like, oh, look, you know, they're just bad guys. guys. But they don't know the truth. 
Mike. They don't know the truth about semantics and Samantha. They don't huh. know why we're starting, like, not even starting this pod war. Like, they're the ones that realistically started this pod war. We're here. We're here just trying to do our thing. You know, we're a tiny little yeah. local homegrown. Yeah. Pod. We don't have radio the influence support. of some gigantic media company. Yeah. We don't have that. We don't have any. Yeah. We, we're over here just trying to do our thing. And there's this fake punk rocker out here that's trying to basically yeah. like, come on. We know. Like, I had Liberty Spikes uh, in high school. Yeah. I've seen also. Yeah. You were wearing Abercrombie and Fitch. You were wearing Hollis. Hol you were a Hollister girl. Hollister. We I, yeah. Okay. How many punk bands, you know? She's like, oh, I know Rancid. Okay. How many other ones, you know? Ooh, you know? Oh, well, good Charlotte. I'm like, that's, that's not, that doesn't count. Not punk at the yeah, best. Yeah, exactly. So these are, this is the thing. It's just like, you guys think it, 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 she's bamboozled half the, co the podcast community into thinking that she's something that she's not. And I mean, is she even really a Disney you know, fan. I I contend that they, I think it's airs. I think I think that they just like her and Trav. They got they got their own like they got their annual pass. Basically, I don't even think they have an annual pass. I've heard that maybe they uh, they just you know get some free tickets from some friends or relatives, and that they're there just kind of you know uh, masquerading, oh, drawing as, on their listeners again. Yes, yes, that's exactly. I, I, I could see it happening. I can. I mean, I don't know that for a fact. I think, you know, she's always complaining too about like she was grew up poor and everything. Like, okay, I seen that house. Like, that's a trust fund baby setup. If I've yeah. ever seen one. Like, I mean. So wait, you worked at a pain pill factory. Uh -huh. Poor job. Yeah. You worked at. Uh, you work for uh, the, the other podcast people. Yeah, that's poor. That's I know, they yeah, I know that that's poor. There's no way that that's buying a house. You know, type. And Travis, up. Travis works in a warehouse. Yeah, come on. Like, there's, there's something. He's not a, he's a forklift up. operator too. Get at that that, that's just, trust fund money. Something's just not adding up about this whole scenario to me. So, and you know what? You know, I don't even know if I should say this. What? Travis? Yeah. You know about Travis, right? Which part? Illiterate. Is he? He can't even read or write. I did see him actually, like, really struggling a couple of times when I have done their show. Ever notice how Samantha orders everything for him? Yeah, that's true. And, and you know what? Like, he was really, there was a can of Coke and a Budweiser that I had brought in their fridge next time. He's like, you, what do you want to be? He couldn't. Just, he Give, couldn't. Giving the it the red wild can, eyes. Like the he... red can, yeah, it was all, like, it was going a little loopy in his brain. He can't, that makes sense. He can't read. Oh. Uh, I know. He can't read. Uh, maybe that. Maybe this is yeah. That's uh, speaking it, about speaking about the fakeness. Yeah, Derek Derek's beard. Oh, his his beard. Uh huh. Yeah, spirit glue and Imagine, he, he put he puts it on the vanity. He's a baby face. The vanity to do that every day too. You know, like he's yeah. all like it. He does have an ugly face. So he does have to hide it with something. So I, I kind of get that. I do kind of get that. And to top it all off, not only fake, you know what else he thinks is fake? The round earth. He's a flat earther. Derek is? Derek. You know, he puts on that, like, oh, I'm so small. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Flat earther. I, I have seen him. I, oh, I've heard him made a couple yeah, questionable, like, comments about that in the past i didn't know if it was factor or whatever but I, I can see where you're coming from like it it definitely it does add up it does add up flat earth Derek, illiterate travis trust fund baby sam yeah the only way any of that works mm -hmm. yeah it's what i mean i get it it's the media industry but i'm just calling it as i see it folks like this yeah. this pod war i'm pulling the veil yeah i'm just I'm grabbing it and I'm saying, here, here's, here's the all the warts, everybody. Here's yeah. all the warts. Yeah, because what am I? I'm just gonna let my good name be dismerged the, as the nicest guy in podcasting in Orlando. The I am the best, the nicest person, and I'm and I and I'm one of the funniest. Yeah, and 
I, I I hate that everyone like paints me as some drunk uh-huh. because that that's been gone for so long. Yeah. You don't even do that anymore. Like, and, 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 oh, look, oh, he's totally... the bad guy. Like, oh, look at him. He's a complete wreck. And, like, you know, I, I... Well, but that, you know, what's odd though? Anytime all the mudslinging starts, Ty's name is coincidentally left out of it is, that is a good almost point. all of it. That is a good point. And hopefully we can talk about that a little bit later when he's on the show. It would, it would, it would, about how ties in cahoots. Well, he might even be more of a drunk than both of us. It seems it might, it might be, he might have a problem, you know, he might have, well, we know he's got a, I I think he needs to just, you know, step up on that podium and say, Mm -hmm. my name is Ty. Yeah. And I have a problem. Well, we're going to get to I'm that. I'm an alcoholic. We're going to get to that later. I probably shouldn't be talking about that without his permission. But uh, one thing we can talk about and something I mentioned, you know, at the very top of the show was uh, fat paramedics. I saw the fattest of fat paramedics, a real Ono oh fatso. Wait, uh, uh, wait. Uh, so on the Ono oh fat scale, you're a one, one five. I'm a two. Are we talking like a? Three. This or was a, four. a sixer, a six seven fatso. Like, like we're talking Oof. a six seven fatso. That might, that might be some of the highest level like, of like active job I've ever seen with a with a fat score that plumbers high. crack. You know, like the whole thing is pants were so fat that he like that he had to put put them on lower because his he couldn't get them up around his actual waist, so he had to like you know, buckle the belt around the lower area. And then he's got his, like, his, his crack show in there. And wait, wait, don't they have to, like, tuck their shirts in her? This guy, there was no tucking. There was no tucking of you that shirt. Impossible task. Impossible task. task. <laughs> like, it, this was, it, it, this shirt's coming out. The minute you, like, bend and retie your shoe or something, that, that thing is so, the, the, is popping right out. So what are this guy's legs like? Because what I think is probably the the weirdest combo is those fat guys who are like a four to a five up top. Like some like, skinny leg? But yeah, then they downstairs, they're probably wearing like a a 38, like a 36, like a 38. Totally does not match. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is probably like if he wore, if this guy wore... His actual pants around his actual waist. We're talking like a 40, a fi- 40, fi- 48. I don't know. What's the, I don't oh, know. 50. Like, we're talking big boy. But then, you know, you slide him down a little bit. He can probably get away with a 40 or whatever. And then, and then <laughs> the bottom half is that you got, you got that, you got that, uh, you know, yeah, those, he had little, he did have little skinny legs. I didn't know how it was working, but. Here's a guy, I'm seeing him at the old factory here, loading somebody up on a gurney, and I'm uh, and I'm like, I was don't he, know. Was, wait, what, did he, was he strong? Was he fat no, strong? he was like gassed, you could tell it. Like, he was oh, like sweating no. hard. Like, he was bad, like, this was a struggle. He was struggling hard, and his other friends were kind of helping him out more, and like, oh, I just, I don't know that I respect a fatso paramedic. Or a fat so doctor, really. Anybody in the like, I'll take a fat dentist. You're allowed to be a fat dentist, but you're not dermatologist. Okay. Even a chiropractor. If you're, if you're a fat dermatologist, you gotta have that smooth fat skin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. smooth. Yeah, like good. You just gotta have good skin. But like, uh, I don't want a fat fat so doctor or fat so paramedic. If I'm if I'm having an issue, in and I'm going to be, you know, taken to the hospital in an ambulance or whatever. I don't want the fat so loading me up. I want a studly guy. I want I want an in, you know, shape, you know, paramedic. Is that too much for me to ask? That that uh, like if cops have to you know how cops have to when they get when they do the thing, they got to take like the test, right? And it like an endurance test, they got to do physicals and all that sort of stuff. I think I think they've laxed on that cuz I've seen some real yeah, tubs well. of shit cops lately. But but shouldn't they be doing do they do that with paramedics? Do they not do that with paramedics? 
I mean, I think they should have to because mm -hmm. it, it does feel like, you know, being physically fit enough to like lift somebody up onto a gurney, get them into the ambulance, like in a timely well, you gotta manner. Be quick. Sometimes you got to be quick, right? You got to rush over there and do the CPRs or the the fucking uh, heart thing or whatever. You got to do the but boop, it, you know, like. Yeah, but if you're jog from the door of the ambulance to yeah. the fallen body and you're gassed there, you're if you have to stop, hands on your hips and bent over and give like a then it's a problem. How are how are you gonna aspirate another human being like if you're out of breath? Yeah, and if you're a doctor, don't give me health advice if you're a disgusting fatso as well. Well, it depends like hold like hold on. Uh, it depends. Like, no. are you just like a, a GP? Like, are you are you seeing like dudes come in every day for dudes and dudettes come in for the flu every day? Yeah, or are yeah, you one of them. An ER doctor. No, I mean both. I take it. I'd, I'd say both. I go. I go for both of these. If your GP was like a kind of portly, jolly old doctor man, mm -mm. I'd be okay. No, but if like my if the if the ER doctor is pushing the gurney and he's you know, he has to like penguin waddle to come into the ER with me, and he's I don't like, want that. There's, oh, give me. Oh, like yeah, when they sound fat, when they just sound fat. Like he's he's any all his breathing is heavy breathing fat. Mm -hmm. Like that guy in the ER, I, I'm gonna be laying there like kind of bleeding out, but I'm be like, can we get another doctor? Can we get another? I like my doctors. I need another physician, please. This I like all all my doctors need to be skinny and Indian. That's my preferred doctor. Ooh, like, wait, are you talking like Mumbai streets of Mumbai Indian? Dot not feather. Yeah, I, I know. I, I, I it knew, it the, not like, TP. The reservation is not known for its fucking healthcare yeah. system, dude. Like, oh no! I knew you didn't mean Native Americans. Well. I mean, I'm just clarifying for the audience, you know, like they, you know, TP not, or ET, I, IT not TP. IT not TP. Yeah, 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 one of them. And, and yeah, I like, they're the best doctors. Everybody knows it. Hold, hold on. I do want to, I do now, I kind of want to go to a, uh, a Native American Indian doctor where I see what they, see what they do. See how, like, cause they're buff. They they treat you like regular. Do you you want to go to a shaman? Yeah, yeah, what yeah. You that's what do. I. That would be cool. Like, oh, you got like a problem. Take you know, you got problem with your your butt. Like here, have some, have some. Uh, uh, Why wouldn't you just go to a fucking butt doctor? What's a butt doctor called? I don't know. Um, hold on, let me look up. What's Pro the doctor called that works on your butt? Oh, I just got an an analogist. Anologist? Is that it? Um, a proctologist. Oh, proctologist. Yeah, butt doctors. That's what. Oh, and uh, you you said something that kind of like piqued my interest. Okay. So when you're going for specific things, you want you want a specific race of people, right? Yeah. Um. So. I'm going to list off a couple professions of, like, services you might need or use. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, um, and you just tell me. What I prefer. Which, what kind of person yeah, you ahead. would prefer yeah, to yeah. be there at that profession. Yeah, yeah. All right, so we we found out the doctor you would prefer, like, a Skinny slender Indian, Indian, Indian man. Yeah, yeah. That could be a woman. I don't mind a okay, woman. Okay, okay so woman. you're not sexist in this, no, right? No, okay. no, no, no. Okay, so um, you you have to go. You just you just won the lottery. Mm. You got a whole bunch of money, mm. and the Florida lottery suggests that you get an accountant. Mm. What kind of person Jew. are you looking for? Jew, a Jew, a Jew. They're the best with the money. That's what I heard. Fair. Okay. Yep. Um. So, oh, and you have to with all this new money, you get a house. And uh -huh. the house only has like some shitty grass in it, uh -huh. and you're like, "Well, this won't do." So you decide Mexican. that you're gonna have. <laughs> it's grass related. It's Mexican, right? I, I would say lawn care, but yeah, 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 yeah. Mexican. 
Yeah, one of Max okay. in there. Um, yeah. All right. So, I mean, that's pretty fair, right? Yeah. They're good at These what they're the good people... at. Um, oh, so, oh, and you have to hire a cook. Mm. What yeah. type of, what? okay, what type of restaurant? No, What's no, a... for your house. Oh, for my house? Big Without Black Mama. Big, big Black Mama. All day long. I want a big black mama in there cooking it up good. Soul food? Yeah. Like, okay. I'll, I'll make her do some fancier things, too. I'll make her make me... I'll get her trained on some, like, English breakfasts and stuff as well. But... Oh, okay. I think I think a good big black mama cook, that's what you want. She's would gonna... you have her... Would you teach her how to do tea and then have tea with her every day? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. That would be interesting because, like, if you hired, a, like, because you live in America, mm -hmm. hiring a maid, like, here, like, a full-time live-in maid, you they probably would have to learn, like, you know, you'd yeah. probably have more than just, like, hey, put the kettle on and, like, hand me a cup and some sugar. You probably do, you know, because you got, like, lotto money, so you'd probably be doing up a little bit more well, for tea. I mean, I'll just, like, hey, you pour the tea into the cup. And or sorry, you you put the tea bag in the mug and you pour the, the 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 hot water in there and then you wait for three minutes and then you take the tea bag out, you squish it down, you and then you do that, you throw it out away and then you put a little drop of milk in there and you're good to go. That's all I need. I Question: She could figure that do, out. Is there a, a specific tea that like English tea is done uh, with, or did, like tea. is there whatever? Black tea. Okay. It's just black tea. Yeah. It's just. Uh, I mean, go. go you know, get get yourself some Tetleys, you know, get some PG tips in your life. That's that, that's where it's at. That's what you want. Have I ever made you a cup of tea? No, I've never been around for tea. Oh, come next time. I'll make you a, a nice, you know, it, it, a good cup of tea. A spot of tea. A good cup of tea will solve all the world's problems. Like, it'll, it'll or at least make them just a little bit better. You know, like, it'll, it's, it's a good cup of tea. And you sit down, good cup of tea, good chat, calming, soothing, delightful, you know, warming to the soul is, is what it is. That, that, yeah. If you're at, if you're at work, in, what time is tea in England, I guess, normally? Or well, is it just like throughout some sometime during the day? Whenever you want it. Oh. I mean, I, I, drink a I drink a cup. I drink two cups in the morning. Sometimes I drink one around lunch. Sometimes I get one when I get home, like after work. Like, oh, and can I be honest? Yeah, yeah. I thought I thought it was like the Spanish siesta. No, there is no like, set time. At, at like four every day, we no, all no. everything in England stops for a couple minutes, no, and no. It, like England shuts down for thirty minutes while everybody has a sip of tea. No, it's uh, it's when it's convenient. What I what I do like is the stories of uh, when like there's like the World Cup going on or some like huge like football fo soccer game, right? And this is a proven thing that they have to like, they have to put the uh, like say it goes to halftime and it's like oh you know okay, uh, time for a cup of tea. It's it's a break in the show. Well, everybody else is doing the same thing. So they have to like reinforce the electrical grid because everybody's turning their electric kettles on at the same time oh. like, as they're doing it. And so yeah, it's like a big thing. Like they gotta they gotta make sure that they're pumping out the right electricity so that the tea can be made during halftime. It's like half a thing. Time. That's like a thing that happens. Like I'm pretty that's sure. That's pretty that's pretty fucking interesting. Because I mean everyone's what? Like most people have moved to like the electric kettle by now. It's all electric kettle. You Americans are dumb as shit if you don't have an electric kettle by now. Like it, it boggles my mind that you people do not believe in electric kettles. They're so handy for cooking and other things. They're so like it's it's once I introduced it to Teresa. Uh, when we first moved in together, she's never been back since. I mean, she couldn't live without an electric kettle now. That should be a Dude. standard household appliance across the globe. And and America just simply hasn't adopted it. No, I'm saying like I think if you go to the if you go to an American Walmart, you'd be hard pressed to find a, an electric kettle. You could find them. You could find them. But they'd they'd sell a hundred regular kettles to the one electric kettle yeah and you know sell. how much those things suck they take goddamn forever to boil whereas th they do 
I have a little black kettle in my kitchen uh, right you need now. An, it takes you need about an, three, four minutes. You need an electric kettle. It's way quicker. It's way more convenient. You got to get the one where it's just like got the little base and everything. Like, uh, it, yeah. Uh, is that your mom in the chat there? Is your mom like uh, chirping Probably. away? She, yeah, she's saying tea is marvelous. She loves a good cuppa. Is that her? Oh, that's, that's my mom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, I would love to make your mom a nice cup of tea sometime. I would I would enjoy a nice cup of tea with your mother. I would She's make- always been a tea tea lady though. Yeah. Like she's always had a little bit of the sleepy time around. Oh, say so I don't mess or- with that crap. I like I, I I want a good solid English tea and you gotta have milk in there. Don't give me this stuff with no milk. Your sweet teas and your iced teas here in America. No, it's a hot tea. It's a proper cup of tea, with with you know a tea bag, and and then you you know after the fact you do a little drop of milk, a little drop of milk. Just um, well, I'm way past. I see when I drink tea, I go all the way past England, all the way to like the Asian area. No. Asian teas are fine. They're wrong. They're wrong about that. They just no. Nope. Pretty sure it originated there, and you guys stole it. So no. let's you know, let's be honest. We stole it from India, sir, I believe. But you know, just saying, it the way we do it, it's the right way to do it. I'm just uh, these are facts. These are facts. Like you can't. Uh, sorry. Oh, and I I will take the way you do it and throw it in the Boston Bay. How about that? Well, you'd be wrong. You'd be incredibly <laughs> Let me ask you, uh, or let me tell you a little bit about this, man. Remember my uh, my old, uh, my scam? Uh, not my scam, the one I got scammed on for my, my Apple CarPlay system that I, was, oh, uh, I yeah. purchased from China. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, and, they, and they were trying to get me to send back, you know, uh, you know, the thing, but then pay the postage, and it's just like, no, 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 no. So thankfully, I was smart enough because I knew I, I knew this was a scam, sort of before I even bought it, and I was able to I used my my PayPal, my business PayPal here, you know, uh, to to set that up and make that purchase. Mm-hmm. So I contacted the old PayPal there, and I said, uh, "Hey guys, there's some egregious activity going on here, and I feel like I have been wronged." Damned. And, uh, you know, I, 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 I gave them all my documentation with screenshots, uh, pictures of the product. It literally took me almost 45 minutes to fill this form out, you know. Uh, well, you was, are a document man. So, I am I mean, a document man. I had, I had it all ready to go. And I got it all sent off, Mike, and uh, sent it off to PayPal and didn't hear anything for about a week. But I got Uh-oh. an e- but I got an email today. I won. I'm getting all my money back from a scam. So the Chinese didn't get me. And I got a free now I got a free USB cable from the Chinese. So who scammed who, China? I scammed you. Be that take that, China. I'm sure they're really lamenting that $2 piece of shit they sent you that you got paid back for. Well, it says a three-in-one USB cable, telescopic smooth brush does not freeze. Don't know what that means. That, 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 in dollars, that, that that, that, that does not cost less than the, the (laughs) number of functionalities it has. Yeah. (laughs) I just love it. It's a, why is that on the USB cable? Telescopic smooth brush does not freeze. That it's, shouldn't be. It's because it is it like a retractable thing. Yeah. Oh, I guess it's saying it doesn't like. Uh, okay. Yeah, but it's bad translation. Like this is some. Well, yeah, because it's Chinese bullshit, Owen. Yeah, of course, Chinese... it's poorly translated. So I'll put that. You know, when we do another event, we give away prizes or something. That's going in the bag of stuff that you can win, unless I need a charger before then. And then I'll have to use it, but it'll probably steal all my data. And uh, but it but, will probably transmit everything you have. Yeah, straight to China. So uh, after, well, I got my money back. But before I got my money back, I I did go ahead and order one from Amazon of the product I was looking for, which is this AirPlay screen that you can mount to any car. And now have a smart, you know, car type thing where I can like 
talk to Siri, I can listen to my podcasts, I can get the maps, and you know, it attaches to your phone. It's like an Apple Maps thing that's built into cars, but now they make it so you can just buy it and slap that bitch on. And that's exactly yeah, if you got an old shitty yeah. free so, so you know 2010 car. I, I got a 2002 airplay motherfucker. I'm 2000 I'm in 2002 and 2023 same time. Isn't your car from 2002 as that's well? That's what I'm saying. Well, that's what I'm saying. I got a 2002 airplay. Like it's 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 a I may I'm I'm moving up in the world. If, uh, uh, do you have that? No, you don't. No, my car just automatically connects to my phone through Bluetooth. You don't, you don't have a well. You bought a thing though. You had to buy a thing. It no, didn't, your car Trevor, didn't. Have, oh no, you, tre- oh you put a system in there. Yeah. Oh, see, see, I, I got a, I got a little tiny remote that I can sit because you know if putting my arm the one foot forward is too much. Yeah, you can. Just, I can <laughs> sit it on the headrest and. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. That's good if you've got like bitches in the back seat, right? And you want to be like, you change the song or whatever. Like you can be like, you can do that, right? You can, you know. I guess I I, I think I've only ever ridden with like two one, other people. Right, right. There's only ever been one other person in the car other than me. I've never had more than two people in that car. But does your shit have like an uh, a maps display you, where you can like see the map like? You, you got that too. You got like a screen from your maps. Uh huh. Really? It'll just uh, it just auto pops up from my phone. All right. Well, it's the same thing I got, but I did have to put mine in. I like it. I like yours. Yours stands on like top of the. Yeah, I stuck it up there. Console, right? Yeah, I stuck it up there. It looks awesome. It's got a dash cam in it. You got a dash. Mm-hmm. Cam, so I got that. No, that, yeah. no, that that is where you you're ahead of me. I got. You have a dash. You have a dash cam from 2002. That's so. It's no, I'm sure it's, it's a great. modern, it's a 2023 dash cam in a 2002 model car, sir. Like, and I and I have I haven't mounted it yet, but there is it came with a rear uh mounting camera, so I could put a rear one and then I can even tie it in if I wanted to to the uh the reverse light uh thing. So that when I hit the reverse thing comes on, it boom, up. it pops up in the thing. I'm not going to do any of that, by the way. But I could do it. I could. And you don't have I, that. And that's what makes I, me feel better is that I have it and you don't. And you, you know what? It's Apple well, Play. So I got it. I got oh, it. Oh, and I don't need it because, like, my neck goes pretty good. Like, I didn't wang my collarbone up. Oh, yeah. So, like, well, I, I still have pretty good I mean, I do have emotions. mirrors in there. I mean, I do could use those, but I, you know, I just like a good dash cam. I can hit it like a DVR on there. I can record, you know, what's going on. That's and f- kind of helpful. That, I will that, admit that's that is super good. helpful. That is good. If someone's acting like a crazy person, I can just go bloop, bloop, and it like starts recording. Uh, so that's, that's kind of nice. And then, um, oh yeah, it's got yeah the FM transmitter function. That's what I'm using, you know, so it sounds pristine. You know, like FM radio for C. Yeah, when when the connection's good and you're not like driving by a highway. Yeah, or... yeah, yeah, yeah. It definitely never fucks up ever, or never gets a little staticky or anything. But, yeah, I would imagine know, it never could. It never could. It's you're using it's the latest top notch technology. Latest, the latest FM, bro. You heard of it? It's crazy. I mean, I might be a little you know, bit farther in the future. Do you know there's with, like uh, music? There's YouTube? music on there. There's uh, and sometimes there's people talking on there it's crazy a lot of advertisements i found though mostly it's like i thought it was just for advertisements but occasionally they there's content on there i think like 80 percent of the radio is advertisements it's gotta now. be it's gotta be which podcasts by the way like switching gears because this is in my notes too but uh switch, like podcasts have gotten a lot more ad heavy lately like i feel like i need to be like i need to be Man, I need to just stop things in middle of the the show or middle of a sentence and just throw an ad in because that's what every other podcast does now. There's no, there's no like, you know, like and and and, and now they're doing the targeted ads, right? So apparently, like all the companies, and this is kind of crazy technology, right? They see your IP address, they know you're listening to this podcast. This podcast subscribes with an advertising firm that can do targeted local ads to your podcast feed. So when they take a break, say it's a minute and a half, two minutes, whatever, they throw in ads that are local ads on a podcast you've downloaded 
which is sort of mind blowing to me that they can do that. Like, just to be honest, like it's it's big media, big corporate marketing, all that type of stuff. But if they're that smart, then why are half of them coming to me in Spanish? That I, I that I don't know because I haven't run into too much of the automated ads yet. But I understand what you're saying. Because if they're that smart, right? Like, they're following your habits. They're following your IP. They must have some sort of data collection within the app. It's not smart enough to tell them that, like, obviously we have a huge Hispanic population here. And it makes sense to advertise in Spanish on a podcast in Orlando. Not saying it doesn't. That's totally fine. But if if the technology is smart enough to know I'm in Orlando, it can't figure out that I'm not Spanish? Or don't speak nah, Spanish? I guess not. Like, that's it. That, I, that was just interesting to me. Like, I'm getting all these Spanish ads lately on some of it. Like, it's a lot of it are, like, wrestling podcasts I listen to. Or yeah. Like, well, what I've noticed is um, it just feels like editing has gotten super lazy. Is that Because, it? and I listen to, like, you know, some fairly, like, big name comedians podcasts. And it's just like, it's like you said, it'll be like, a small like they are it's the break in between words in a sentence right and it's like there's not even boom, an edit here's there the ad. yeah yeah they, it's it's just they do i mean it's all hard cuts there's no like fades into music in a lot of these podcasts anymore there's no breaks like we do like i just thought that was commonplace but now no it's all just like it's a hard chop yeah i'm like god damn it like I have some pride in how things sound, you know, like ours isn't perfect, but we give some shits about it. Well, and the thing is, it's, they're not these in, in most of these. These are their reads. These are the comedians doing the reads. Yeah. It's just whoever's editing it is. Doesn't give a fuck. It's got to be. And, and I it, can't believe that I'm the only and I, you know, I can't imagine I'm the only person in that listening audience that is just like. There's no yeah, just there's no fade like, yeah, and it just goes like yeah, and it, you're you're into an ad and then you're right back out of an ad and it just like yeah, it's it's jarring and then the ad a lot of the times will be like like three dB louder like than than the rest of the podcast oh, so yeah, it's, it's like it's ah! like and and you gotta like you know knock down the volume on your phone or whatever like it's that's just annoying uh, get it together I it made me though like think well I could probably VPN when I download certain podcasts to see what the ads are like in different places. Like that could actually be a fascinating experiment, right? Like go to like VPN to Boston or New York and see what's going on over there and get there. Would it work? Could it work like that? I'm no, I don't think it's geotagging you when you download it. Cause you're listening to what? Apple music. Apple Podcasts, yeah. Apple Podcasts. I think it's doing it more locally, like at your phone level, than right, like where yeah. you're downloading it. From. I don't know. I just made, I thought it would be IP based. If it was IP based, and you could like, I essentially... think it is, but it's through the Apple Podcasts, not like how you're downloading. I don't think they tag it there. I think Apple they tag Podcasts it through like an Apple ID, an like your phone is geolocated to Orlando, so therefore it's going to down. Yeah, it could be. Yeah, that. I think you're it's happening right. through your phone because it's an ad. Apple Apple Podcasts understands it has to play an ad because it's tagged like that. I assume in whatever podcast you're listening to. Yeah. So it just delivers that ad at that moment. I just want to. I well. just want to start doing a thing where I can. I mean, I'm sure you probably could do this. I want to like launch ads specifically to like, hey Boston, you know, like and, and like like start yelling them. Like I, I want to start yelling at people in various parts of the country in their accents. And then, you'd have to do a lot of work to record. Well, that's well, one we'd have to get we'd have to get people we have to cut commercials for. Oh yeah, first. there's that. That's step step. But on. I, I kind of want to do it to where it's like Moe's carpet on Colonial or something, right? And you're advertising it in like the wrong places. I mean, I'll just be like Mo. Like we're this is part of the deal. All right. We're gonna have this go viral. It's a long term plan. You're gonna be the biggest carpet distributor on the face of the earth when I'm done with you. you yeah. just you gotta do this, you know? I was like, I well, I know. think I think it would be fun to do things that are happening like here, but in all. So you're doing them in all the accents. Mm-hmm. 
but then you start you got to start learning how to do those ads in other languages yeah so you could hit like you know i'm doing mo's carpet ads in russia you're like well australia Australia, bro like that's the same language just gonna let you know that like that's that that yeah i've heard some they say different words i was thinking more russia it would be good though if like like all these Russians, they come to America, right? Or like we do it in Ukraine. Hello, we would like to go to Mo's Carpet Cleaner. We take, we, dude, all the Ukrainian refugees that come over, first thing they're going to do when they need carpets, you know who they're going to think of? Mo's Carpets. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. While I Google Hold something, on. I'm not going to say anything about what. I'll, I'll try to get where is Mo's carpets. Oh, it's not a thing. I made it up. <laughs> no, no, hold on. Where is there a Mo's? There's got to be a Mo's carpets, right? Get it covered Mo's. <laughs> yes, yes. Get it covered Mo's. Get it covered Mo's. Number and one. And that's what they, they that's what they'd say when they get here. Where's Mo's carpet? <laughs> yeah. Maybe we sell it as like it's Mo's carpet, but like secretly they uh they just give money to refugees, right? And we we It's we, a secret Russian it, bathhouse. Yeah, yeah, yes. That's Mo's carpets, bro. Mo's carpets. And then and we would you know have a whole business of scamming Russians out of their money when they get here. Spamming gay Russian Mo's men carpets and there's nothing there. And there's no there's no carpets. There's no there's no carpets or bathmen. There's literally nothing. There's no nothing. It's not nothing. Ah, good show so far. Uh, <laughs> I'm in the Russians. So, um, I was in the break room the other day eating my lunch. And somebody else came in there and they threw their shit in the microwave. And what I was, was their shit? I was just mad. Like it was out of a box, right? It was like something you'd buy in a freezer section, right? Fish in a box. And you know, curious me. I'm like, oh, I'll be Snoopy. What's What's she eating? Jamaican jerk grouper out of a box, man. No. It's made me mad. Crustless chicken pot pie. What? Is, wait, that's called soup. That's what I said in my brain, Mikey. It's what I said in my brain. And sure enough, it's exactly what it was. It wasn't in a can. It was in a microwave little dish. And it was a crustless chicken pot pie, which to me should be illegal. There is no, you were, you were insulting a chicken you pot can't pie. Call it chicken pot pie. No, thank you. All right, I I knew I knew you'd agree with me on this one. I knew you would. I mean, maybe a, like they make. Okay, so uh, maybe Campbell's it has like a layer a on it or something. Pie soup. The, see. Yes, they made chicken pot pie soup, but just call it that. That's what this kind of looked like. Maybe there's like a layer or something around the sides. Like maybe it's a maybe it's just improperly named. Maybe it's a topless chicken chicken pot, pot pie. pie. Not quite. that I could get. See, that would make more sense. But it didn't look like that to me. I have, and it was a green. It was a green box. Crustless Aunt Marie's or some. Yeah, it'd be one of them. But crustless chicken pot pie, it doesn't sound like it should exist to me. No, I don't. I don't think it should. Because, again, it's not a pot pie. Yeah. No. Um, Yeah, all these. All these are basically soup. That's what I'm saying. It's like just more of a thick soup. Everyone I'm looking at, every recipe I'm looking at right here, this one is crustless chicken pot pie, but then they took breadcrumbs, put it on the top of it, and toasted it, nope. effectively giving it a crust. What are you doing? What the... What are you I doing? Hate, I hate... I, I have been in my industry for 20 years, and I hate where cooking has gone to right now. Stupid. Because you've literally... You went out of your way... To take the crust off the top, and now you put and it back call on. And crustless. Yep. And then yep. you recrust the and bitch. You recrusted it. Just make a chicken fucking pot pie, a good chicken pot pie. Yeah. Stop done. using this breadcrumb nonsense and just make crust like a fucking pie dough. 
Can I tell you something? I got obsessed with that restaurant cheddar's chick, uh, a broccoli cheddar uh, casserole thing they make. I, I can make it. Yeah. Well, I, I I realized one of the secret tricks that they got going on there with that. It's what do you think it is? Ritz fucking crackers is what. Yeah, that's what everyone's it is. secret, Owen. Dude, Ritz crackers though, are underrated. Okay, I got. I, I can. I will fuck up some Ritz. I was eating Ritz. I will eat Ritz with pretty much anything. So check this, Owen. Uh, sorry. When I worked for Cracker Barrel, every every uh, I want to say it was Wednesday because during the during the day it was chicken pot pie. Yeah. But the night special on Wednesday was chicken cheddar, uh, chicken broccoli cheddar casserole. That's good stuff. So it was rice, broccoli, chicken, and cheese. But to give it a crunchy flavor, you know what these motherfuckers would do? They'd ritz it up, crush up a whole bunch of ritz and sprinkle. God and, well, damn they'd, make, they'd right. mix ritz and butter, yes, and then sprinkle it over the top. See, this is what I'm talking about. This is what more. This is now. That's good. That's a good usage of added uh, sprinkle carbohydrates. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like this is better than the other one. You know, like put throw some ritz in there. You know, if you can't do Ritz, what you can do? Little goldfish, that- little goldfish crackers. We got some of them lying around. You can use that. My my buddy back in the day introduced me to uh, fried bass battered in uh, in uh, goldfish crackers. <laughs> that sounds pretty delicious. <laughs> Dipped in honey, and it was. No, was it? No, it was catfish. It would have been. I think it was catfish. I think it was. I can't remember. If it was catfish. Or it was bass. Right. But it was like, yeah, it was that one of them. They caught at their lake. They used to make it there, right there. They used to fillet it fresh and everything. And they, yeah, they like fry it up. Like they crush all the, you know, goddamn cheese its or whatever, or not cheese its, but the you could do it with cheese its. Same kind of yeah, thing. I've done it with cheese. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and then they throw the goldfish on there, and then so it was fish wrapped in the fish. And then yeah, you dip that in some some honey. That is a Ooh. that is a southern delicacy, my friend. Like I never thought it would be good, but like a little bit fried cat it was catfish. Fried catfish dipped in honey. That's some Polk County shit right there. That's some Polk oh, County shit. You know I uh, I don't pay for honey no more cuz I learned how to make a substitute that's just as good, tastes nearly identical. It was not honey. I like honey. Well, Here's the deal, bro. What do you do? You mix yourself a little bit of apple cider vinegar and sugar. Oh. A little turmeric. Yeah. Boil that all down till it gets Not to like boiling a boiling it. I can just get the bear, bro. Bro, I'm telling you, it's so much cheaper and you can make so much more of it. Get the bear. Get don't even get the bear. Get a better one that's not a bear. Just get I'll, some honey. I'll bring you over a, a bottle of this stuff. All right. If you're, I'm not doing it. I'm not boiling up all that shit and making my own honey substitute. That sounds like work and sounds like I don't want to do it. But I, I love it. You know, I I do love me some um, uh, honey and hot sauce mixed in, too. I think that's always good. The hot honey is real good. And then I like mixing the three of them with cottage cheese. And it's delicious. And, and no one believes you me. just went gross. And no one believes me. Cottage cheese mixed with is, honey and hot sauce. And you use it as a dip is absolutely delicious. And no one, no one's had the balls to try it. I'll make it one day when you come around. Because I think you're lying. You it. I think you're lying to me and it's saying so something good. is delicious. And it's, it's so gross. good. I make it all the time. It's great. It's great. You know, you're gonna. I'm gonna make I it need for to, you. I need Teresa to sign off that she's seen no. you make this before. Oh, she has. She's seen me do this shit. She has. Does she, she eat it? Nope. <laughs> Dude, see, <laughs> see, I knew it. I eat it. I, I knew for a fucking fact that Teresa wasn't eating that shit. I don't think. I think I. I mean, this usually happens after long after she's gone to bed, and I'm, um, maybe a little, uh, you know. My palate's craving different things. I don't think she's ever been around. She she knows I make it. She's seen me. I think like get up and get it. Like go to the bathroom and eat it and like all that. But she's. Not, I don't think she's ever tried it. Now I'm gonna do it. Next time you come around, I'm gonna make you both try it, and get your opinion. I will not. I know I don't want it. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. <clears throat> it's good. It's absolutely delicious. Um, 
Oh, I forgot about this. We do have a voicemail I want to play, but before, right before we went on the show, I've been getting all these like weird ass spam texts, and yeah. uh, so I got one um, right before we started that just said, "Hey, let's go golfing tomorrow." Nice. You <laughs> should say yes. Well, I said no. I just said I just typed the word back no, <laughs> and she says, "I'm Alice. Remember me." And of course, I don't know an Alice. This is a fuck. This is a phishing scam or what have you. Yeah. I said, oh, I'm gonna say. So here's what I'm thinking of doing. I'm gonna say, oh, I think I remember you. Why don't you give me a call at my work number and then give her the phone line number so that she can call it. Yeah. Yep. I'm gonna do it now. Ooh, I think so. Live scamming people I'm, here on Oh No. I'm at, well, if she's going to scam me, I'm going to scam this China lady back. Uh, I'm at work. Call me at my work number 407 906 6466. And you guys can uh, call, as long as she's not calling me, you guys can call in there. Too. Uh, but yeah, we'll see how that goes. Um, maybe, maybe I'll get a good golf game out of it. Something I don't know. Hopefully, you get something cool out of it. That'd be yeah, nice. I don't know. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's play this voicemail here. Let's go ahead. I know who it's from, but I haven't listened to the whole thing. Uh, but I'll let him tell you. So, give me one second. Should play. Oh no, radio show. Hey, it's your friend Brian Wynn. B Wynn. I got a story and then a question for you after the story. So I got this little dog. His name is Tater Tot, and uh, Tater. I love him to death. He's got some skin allergies, though. So because of those, I have to give him a bath twice a week with a special Ooh. medicated shampoo. That's a lot, right? With dogs twice a week, having to give him a bath because he's got a skin condition. So. That's that's a lot. That's got to be a pain in the ass. First off, so good. Points on being a good dog dad for, for doing that. Skin allergies, though. So because of those, I have to give him a bath twice a week with a special medicated shampoo. And because of this shampoo, he needs to, like, soak in the shampoo, like, be all lathered up for 15 minutes at a time. So because it takes a while, I just bathe him in the bathtub. And I'll sit at the edge of the tub while I'm bathing him. And I... That's also a long time. Like you gotta That's let... a really long bath for a dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's a long bath for me. 15 minutes man like it, like that's a long depends I mean, yeah what i'm what i'm bathing it depends what you're doing in there i know you you're jerking it i'm so because it takes a while i just bathe him in the bathtub and i'll sit at the edge of the tub while i'm bathing him and uh he shakes and gets water everywhere gets a shampoo everywhere so i always bathe him in my underwear and you know me i work outside so i've got like the moisture wicking real thin fabric Underwear, boxer briefs, you know, try and battle the crotch rot that is Florida. I wear the same ones. I, <clears throat> those are yep exactly my my style of 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 underwear. So yeah, it's the right choice. So, you know, I bathe him. We do the fifteen minutes. Uh, soap everywhere, everything. Rinse him off. So when I go to pick him up to get him out of the bathtub, I always pick him up by his little torso, and his head is facing my body. So I get him up about mid-level, and I can feel his little paws, like, kicking at the top of my thighs. And I felt his right paw just kind of, like, push into my crotch, like, right on my mm. knee. And his fucking dew claw sunk into the fucking head of my dick, like, punctured it. Mm. Maybe a half a centimeter away from my dick lips, and it hurt so bad. Uh, anyway... It sucked. It hurt. Uh, but my question is, have you guys ever had any unfortunate crotch injuries? Uh, I'll hang up and listen. Eat a bag of dicks. Fuck your dreams. I'll see you soon. Yes. Well, first off, Two. thank you. Thank you, I think, for the voicemail. Um, we definitely have to address the first part before we ans answer any of the question. But um, first, first off, you got to get a new dick, bro. You got to chop that one off. You got to get a whole new one. Like that, that thing's gonna get dog poo infected. Like, imagine the dog. Like, no one, no chick's gonna suck your dick no more. You've got the dog dick. You know, you've got, you've got dog foot dick. 
If it doesn't start growing hair and possibly uh, barking, mm, you'll be lucky. This is a bad situation. Uh, it does sound incredibly painful. I hope that you would, of course, you know, properly sterilize your penis after after such a, you know, traumatic event. And then Brian seems like he's got his stuff well enough together. He's a pretty mature adult. I think he would have, you know, done his due diligence about protecting his penis. Uh but he if, seems like the type of guy that might have a first aid kit, whereas, like, if I had, had something happen to my penis... Oh, like a separate kit. Like a whole... Like, that's a good idea. We should, As men, we should all have one of those in our house. Just in case, a whole first aid kit dedicated to penis care. Well, I think so. You know, that's a good... That's just a good hurricane. Uh, if you're prepping for the hurricane, make sure to put your penis, you know, first aid kit. In with the rest of your other well just make sure supplies. it's fully stocked on it yeah 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 you got to make sure you got to check because sometimes we forget right we use the odd you know bit of gauze or you know the, the you never know you know go to uline um, go to granger they mm -hmm. have penis medical kits you yeah. can just have one on deck just keep it yeah, just keep an extra it's always good to have more than one just in case you run through one what if yeah. somebody what if somebody a friend of yours needs to seek refuge and they have a penis injury what are you going to do then if you don't have you know you can't be sharing your penis injury with his penis injury this is that's going to be terrible yeah um uh, i do have a story kind of in the same vein i've told it uh, before on the show uh, but back when me and teresa very very first started uh dating and we were we were real frisky, you know, back in those days. I mean, we were we're going at it. Uh, Teresa had she had braces still, right? She had, she had braces, and she hadn't uh, gone to the orthodontist or dentist or whatever in a while. And if you know anything about braces, you got to get like you got to get them sort of tightened every once in a while. The bands are usually replaced. Like there's like a it's like a monthly thing. I want to say. It's pretty, there's some maintenance involved. There's some yeah. maintenance involved. So it had been towards the end of that period before the maintenance needed to do, and uh, I was informed after the fact that braces get what they call snags every once in a while. Oh, and, no. And um, exactly what you are thinking happened. There was an accident with a oral situation that affected... The head of my dick. And I imagine it was face? probably quite similar to what Mr. Brian, uh, has, uh, Mr. Wynn has experienced with the dog nail piercing his penis. Except mine was hard. Imagining that his penis was probably not hard. So I'm sure it bled and it didn't feel great. But what I'm saying is, I was in a different situation. And I've never seen a gusher in like a, like a, like a, like, a, like let the, Whoa. like, yes. Like there, it was like almost hit the roof of a tiny little stream of where it had just like a pinprick had poked it and the blood was being released. The only time Owen's ever been a shooter. Hmm. I know. I got. I got a. I got a dart, man. <laughs> um. Okay, so I have two. You got two. One. One. The the less bad one was like right next to my ball sack on my like thigh, mm. right there. I got. What I assume was like a cyst, um, like right there, oh, and God. I ended up having to like bandage over it Ooh. and just let it 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 popped on its own after it was bandaged. So like in between your was, ball and your thigh is what you're saying, kind of like in that area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I yeah. had a cyst, and it was it was pretty painful for a couple days. Those can be bad. Those can be real bad. Ty, remember Ty? Ty's the cyst king. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, he hasn't had. Um, yeah, he lives with his mom now. He washes his sheets. Funny how that works. Uh, the other was when I was in, 
I think it was right after high school. No, no, I was I, I, a little bit after high school. I was working for Cracker Barrel and I, you know, I just had not been prepared, you know, went into work one day commando in a pair of like my work kitchen dickies. And I did rub a spot on the head of my dick just raw from rubbing up against my pants all yeah, day. Yeah, that is unfortunate. Yeah, and you're uncirc or you're circumcised. So you're yeah, yeah see, it's Straight worse on the for head. you. It's worse for you. It's worse. Yeah. That's why you it, don't that, feel your that dicks. one did that one took like a week and like I could barely mm -hmm. touch it, touch mm -hmm. it at all. Yep. See, mine's mine's sheathed. You know, it's uh, it's it's protected. Better human, better human. Just just saying, more complete, more, more. It is the only stage in which you have evolved past me. Okay, it's the one that you yeah, it's the one you can never take back. Uh, before we go to break, I do want to say that um, things have been weird around my household lately because of the floor renovations, and uh, I've been I've been really at it. I'm now I'm a floorman now. Uh, been really, really good with I, like I learned all the floor stuff. So like I pretty much could lay, I could do a house, you know, carpet, whatever you want. Really, I'm not gonna do it, but I could. And so like what I did, uh, I you know all my learnings. Uh, I was uh, I was looking at my carpet and I was like, it's disgusting. Got to do something about this. I remember my landlord telling me there's terrazzo floor underneath the carpet. Which is one of those things that's like back in style now. It's super popular. It's like, ah, oh, yeah, it's kind of hip. It's kind of trendy, you know. Have it's Therese. so cold. It's so cold. Yeah, it's a, it's an old school Florida, you know, style of floor that used to was popular. What, like, what do you think, 50s, 60s, something like that? And then like 70s came around and everything was carpet. So like it's been covered up for numbers of years, and uh, it, and we've been in this place for 12. And the carpet's never been changed, you know? So it's like, oh, this shit needs to go. And so I asked, I called the landlord. I'm like, hey, how like, was the terrazzo in good shape? Like, he's like, ah, I can't really remember. Uh, I'm like, well, can I just rip, can I rip up the carpets? Like, I gotta, I gotta get rid of these. He's like, yeah, go, go for it. So I did it. And they need a shit ton of work. Nothing that's like beyond like, Mopping the hell out of it, buffering, scraping, scraping, buffering, all that sort of stuff. Maybe a final finish, like stuff that I can take care of. I'm going to need all baseboards put in. So thankfully I got a Mexican for that. Uh, that's that's ready to go. He already knows what he's going to do. He's got the free wood. He steals the free wood from the job site. I got it. It's fine. It's got a thing for that. So I'm going to get the baseboard. Uh, but, but once it's done... It's going to be, I think it's going to actually look really, really fucking good. And, uh, and I, yeah, I, I got a, I, I pulled an all nighter. I got wasted and I, um, and I just, I ripped out the carpets from my house. That's what happened. Like I, I left the bedrooms, but I, I, uh, but the living room hallway into the bathroom, that whole area, no carpet anymore. It's in, uh, it's a, it's a big deal, Mike. Big deal. Yeah. You did that in the middle of the week. Sure did. Yeah. Oh, well, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> Wife's asleep. You had to go to work the next day. Yep. <laughs> You're a peach. I'm popping up the I got the, the crowbar out there. I'm going bing. Like that's the thing too with the toe the, the nail bar or whatever they the carpet tack things. Like they got the them all nailed down, so you gotta go you gotta get the pro pry bar under there and you gotta and like every single one almost shoots directly in my eye and I managed to die. I didn't get hit in the eye. I didn't get hit at all. Like I pinged them all good. I hit a couple on the roof. That was my like new like, oh, that was my challenge as I did so many of them. Like, oh, make sure, see if I can get one to like crack the. <laughs> so you have to do another project after this one. <laughs> well, you know, it's all for the game. It's all, I mean, uh, so the carpet's out. I got rid of the couch, too. That couch should never should have been in my house. I had to take the door off to get it in the house, and it had to only come in a certain exact way. And um, and then I and I realized that, I, like, it, like, I had flashbacks to how terrible it was when we moved that thing in. 
And I knew it was going to be a bitch, but I really had flashbacks. I'm like, oh my god, it was this bad. It was, and now I now I'm doing it without the movers, basically by myself, because Teresa. It's just it's it's not even like a strength thing where she can't like lift the weight. She can't get a hold of it because it's too large for her to be able to like. She doesn't have the wingspan. She doesn't have the wingspan to pick the thing up, right? So I'm basically doing it myself. I did get it out, but uh, that that was when we made the decision that we are highly critiquing the measurement of every piece of furniture we have our eyes on. And we're going with a different style. We're not going with like a puffy couch this time. This time we're going with a a lot sleeker of a of a of a slim design aesthetic, I guess you'd say. So because I can't, I just can't do that shit anymore. Oh, it was bad. It took me over an hour to remove a couch from my house. Like it was, <laughs> it's terrible. Um, see, Owen, that's why I got. <clears throat> I I I think I told you a couple weeks ago. I went and moved the day bed and used and turned it into the new bed frame for our, for my bedroom. Um, like I lifted one end up and was like, "Oh, this is gonna be." I don't know if I can actually do this. I can have it. Yeah. Went went to the Home Depot, spent thirty bucks, yeah. got me one of those little wooden carts with wheels. Good. I need a good wooden cart, but I I'd be doing mine all through the grass too to pull it down. Like I, it, the cart's not doing me that much. Yeah, I only needed it to get me around in the house. Maybe. Now it's just back to sitting. How much you spend on that wooden cart? Thirty bucks. All right, I need that. I'm gonna get one. Go to the Home Depot or Lowe's. It's get, out in like get, the garden section. Get me a wooden cart with some fucking wheels on it. Just Fur- cast furni- It's just got like yeah, casters yeah, yeah. furniture on the dolly. Basically a furniture dolly. That's all it is. I need, That's what it is. Yeah, yeah, I need one. I need. I'm gonna get one. <laughs> like when they put the carpet on them too. Those are the good ones. You yeah, know, it's, you know it's you got a little carpet on the, on the yeah, little yeah, yeah. wooden planks. There you go. Okay, that's what I'm wanting. That's all right. All right. Are you good to take a little bit of a, a break? Come back with some some 2.0. Hopefully with hopefully yeah. with our our good buddy Ty. Well, I just got word from Ty. He he said work was a beast, uh, but he is on his way home now. Great. Well, then that'll work out probably pretty decently, even if he hops on a second late. Um. Yeah, we'll we'll catch you with with some more Ono Radio show. Uh, your, show uh, your second dose of the Ono Radio show for the week in just oh. a little bit with some Ono 2.0. Uh, hopefully the uh, ooh, maybe maybe the scammer will call me and uh, we can we can talk to uh, Alice. Remember, uh, she hasn't responded back, but uh, but we'll we'll get to that. I, I do want to talk about sounds Americans don't make that British people do. Like, there's like a, a like it's my new revelation. I'm like, ah, oh, Ameri- Americans. There are a multitude of sounds. It's like, a mul- uh, well, at least one that's just popping in my head, like, you know, constantly. And uh, I also want to talk about my friend got a uh, smart water valve uh, put in his house. And oh. uh, like he installed it, like, and, and he is actually uh, horrified. With the information that he's he's getting from it, so uh, yeah, we'll talk about that in just a little bit. Thank you for joining us for the first segment of the ONR Radio Show of the Week. If you want to help us out, you can go to Patreon.com/ONRS. You can subscribe to us on Twitch, twitch.tv slash ONRS live. Yeah, you can even do so for free. That gives us money if you have, if you link your Amazon Prime account to it. They give you one free one a month. You just got to keep hitting that button. Please do that. It gives us like three bucks every month. And uh, it comes from no cost to you. Also, onoradioshow.com for all your podcasts, anywhere you find your podcast, Apple, you know, whatever Google thing is, or on, you know how to do it. Just find the podcast online. And Mikey, what do we say when we get out of here for the first segment, boy? Fuck your
Greg, you know, second dose of your on our radio show for the week. Whew. Yeah, decided not to play the uh, the usual intro just because I like that tune and I was grooving to it. That's mm-hmm. the only, that's literally the only reason. But uh, yeah, no, I like shaking things up every once in a while, just like shaking it up with you, Mike B. Hey, I'm shaking it up right meow. Good, good, good. Hopefully, we'll have another drunken bum on the line to uh, shake it up with us. His uh, legal counsel has in- advised me, though, that I cannot talk about certain things. So um, I will just be calling him a drunken bum from now on. And maybe you'll understand the reasons a little bit later down the line. Oh, and you know what I don't want to fucking talk about anymore? What? My fucking new co-worker's kids. Oh, I hate when co-workers have kids. It's the worst. Dude, so, you know, we 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 had to hire some people because we are, you know, the original crew. You know, they don't always work out, so we hired some more dudes. And, you know, so far, only one of our... Uh, faculty members had had or one of our employees had had kids and he didn't really talk about it all that much it wasn't like the only thing he talked about well my new co-worker has four kids and oh buddy that must be all this woman I think she's a single mother so I understand like this woman's life consists of work and children. But dude, everything gets routed back to this woman's kids. Yeah. Can't fucking take it. It's the worst. It's definitely the worst. I've 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 had those. I've also noticed that people um that are the same age or about the same age as me, they tend to get promotions more when they have a new family. Like if they've had a kid, I noticed this. I, I, I'm, I, and you can say, oh, it's just cause like the person, no, it's the, the other person was better. No, it's, it's not a lot of the time they had a kid, they get a move up in the company. It happens. It just fucking happens. And like, I can see it a little bit. Like, you know, that person is, you know, they're probably going to work a little, a little bit harder. You know, they maybe they're struggling they need the money for their yeah. kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but it's not fair. You know, I think there's like ageism in that regard as well. Like, I think that, yeah, I think it's messed up. Like, oh, just because you got a kid, you get the job. Like, that definitely happens. I've seen it happen. I've definitely seen that happen. But whatever it is. <laughs> What it is. Oh, geez. We got this guy coming in now. Yeah. 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 This guy. Hey, it's Ty. Are you? Yeah. He didn't even. What's up, you sons of bitches? You didn't. <laughs> is, that, is that your work clothes, Ty? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> is that That's your work clothes? You got a sloppy polo on. And uh, this is a Ralph Lauren polo. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Doesn't mean why it can't it be sloppy, Ty. Why is it sloppy? Why, why is it, why, why, I don't know. Maybe it's just because it's on you it looks sloppy. <laughs> if it was on anybody else. I'll take it. Yeah, you look <laughs> drunk. You are drunk again. I could tell. You're just drunk. and and, and I've, I've been drink, day drinking at work, but yeah, uh, he's a, he's here a, I am. Because you're a drunkard. Yeah. You're a drunkard <laughs> now. And uh, if the world knows that you're a drunkard. I outed you. So um, <laughs> just, you know. Don't be a drunkard as much or whatever. This one's for you. Oh, you know what? <laughs> Where's my beer? I need another beer. It, Hang on. This is actually my first beer since uh, the things we won't talk about yet. Uh huh. I told us. I told the the, the audience that our our my, your legal counsel has directed me that I cannot uh, talk about it directly. So I will not disclose very much information, but you know. I got pulled over. That's about <laughs> oh, okay. It. <laughs> um, that's I wouldn't have gone. I wasn't even going to say that. But you know, For having yeah. too big of a dick. Oh yeah. They they gave me a ticket. <laughs> All right, they did give you a ticket. That's something they gave you. Hmm. Uh. Mm-hmm. But anyway, Ty, it's good to have you with us. Uh. How was your work day? 
fucking bullshit grind, man. Today was fucking Bad. stupid. A lot of a lot of Karens going on in there, or what? Uh, but, uh, I I don't know if you've noticed a small price increase this month, mm-hmm, but it's mm-hmm. real fun on my end. Yeah, uh, there <laughs> people are mad, mad that you you raised their prices. You how should much, call us. How much did it. you? How much did you raise them, Ty? Uh, well, it depends on what you actually have, but pretty much five dollars all around on yeah. anything ty's got to pay his legal fees so we gotta raise the price <laughs> god i wish that money went to me <laughs> right yeah. right 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 no no no. Can we you went get on a little bit of a com- don't they have a commission plan where the more yeah up things you sell you yeah, get a little yeah, bit yeah. of cash you should uh, there the sale, is a that's small a sales barely department. amount of commission yeah. but uh that that would only come from adding like new new service, not like anything else. So oh, if you didn't have cable, I gave you cable. I get a little money. Oh, I I I'd be oh, I'd be selling that hard hard. I'd be ah oh, I'd be the top cable guy. I'd be the top salesman. <laughs> I would. I would. We've been my, talking... my department's not supposed to remove shit, but no. I think I remove a lot more than I than you give. Yeah, yeah. Well, I feel like that's the case with the cable company these days. What were we talking about just now, uh, Mike? Before Ty hopped on the uh, the line there. Oops. Oh, buddy. Um, oh, how I ha- don't want to hear about my coworker's kids. Yeah, no more. that's right. Yeah, he was yeah. talking about his coworkers. Yeah, his coworker was shut up about his kids and all that. And I, I've come to the conclusion like I got a an old like I've separated. I think down the middle now. Um my OG coworkers that I can talk to like a human. I can joke around. I can be, you know, slightly racist and homophobic and <laughs> sexist with them. And then I've got like the new crowd where you can't say nothing no more. Like, so I got them real split. And I, and that's exactly my new thing now is that I, I can't, I just don't talk to them. So like, there's been a new person that's like, tra- like I can, I will not say anything personal. I'm just gonna refrain I, from I, speaking. I, I, to you. Yep, <laughs> I, 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 I just refrain from speaking unless like asked to like a question about like, hey, should I do this or like something work related? Um, I will not <laughs> talk. T- I just literally won't talk to the person. And I gotta tell you, it's working out great. <laughs> it is it is definitely the way to go. Like if you if you can pull this one off, like it's my new it's my new work scam. Don't just don't talk to the new people. Don't talk to them. I feel slightly better or a little worse for for Mikey just in the fact that uh you know, we both work at places with fuck ton of people, so it's a little easier to ignore, but being in a kitchen, you have to deal with kid talk all the time. Oof. I'm in a booth with one other person whole day. Me and this other person, whole day, nothing. No talk? No talk. No, not at all? Not Just done with that the talk? That is kind of nice, it's, right? It's, it's just, kinda it's, nice. kinda, it's amazing. <laughs> Better than... <laughs> chirp and chirp so... and chirp. Yeah. Oh, it's no talk. Like, it's the same principle <laughs> I have with a lot of, like, I used to hate it. Like, now I have somebody that cuts my hair, like, on the regular who is a friend. So it's different. But back in the day when you used to have to go to the hair cuttery and do the small talk, small talk with the complete goddamn, silent, it, you didn't talk at all. No, I prefer just in that. If I don't know you, why am I talking to you? Like I just want a silence. Cut my hair, and and <laughs> this is the case. So I, like, do my job. Silence. Will, if you have a question about the job, you can ask me. That's fine. I'll be nice and I'll respond to you about. The, but I'm not talking otherwise. I'm just not. I'm not talking. Because it only gets me in trouble, bro. It's the thing, and that's it. Only gets me in trouble. My talking. It's the. I'm good otherwise. Oh, I will say that there was a point in my life where I was still going to the hair cuttery, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and uh, as much as I do not like to talk to the people who cut my hair, it's like I I have a very weird feeling about people touching my neck and my ears. I don't really like it all that much. Mm. But as much as I don't like talking to them. I used to know back in the day when I would go to the hair cuttery and get the big old, big old, you know, the older woman that would cut my hair. Yeah. 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 And 
Big you fat, chatter up. You chatter up a little fat, bit. So her titties are hanging on your shoulder as she's. Doing oh, she'll it. put them right up on yeah. your head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She will. Oh yeah. If you get the, if you her. chatter up a little bit, she starts to get a little loose. Yeah, starts yeah, to just. Yeah, yeah. I I did like a good titty, a good titty neck massage from that is that was good time. Can I just lay back? Can I can I enjoy yeah. those titties while I, I used come to here? do it? Can, I used to can do we it. be honest? I think that the hair cuttery was hiring a specific type of person for a very long time, <laughs> and it was your arms were only barely long enough to get past your enormous old lady titties. They were cow women. They were cow women, is what they were. They were they sort of resembled a cow that but like that had like the utter and like short stuffy hooves for arms, but they could like you know snip snip. It's either that or they were brand new and never touched a hair in their life. Yeah, it was one a, or the other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was quite a lot of those. Quite a lot of those. Um, that went, miss my fucking hair, people. I'll say that shit. Yeah, it's hard up here. I can tell. I can tell. It looks terrible. It's not. Uh, I just I mean, try not to cut it most of the time. Yeah, <laughs> that's why you look like a homeless person again. You know, you're you're. Yeah, I actually, I'm I'm at a I'm at a decent overgrown. I'm okay with it. Yeah, <laughs> that's good. That's good. But uh, moving on. You moving on. My long, the, delicious hair. How the, dare you? There were things that I needed to talk about, like uh, apart from silent uh, trainees at work. Uh, there were things I wanted to talk about in this segment, and uh, one of those was sounds that only people from the UK make. I know there's a million more of these, but there was there was one that I just remember coming up like in 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 you know growing up in a British family, and you hear it on TV shows. I hear it on British podcasts that I listen to, and it's something that. I don't know that we have an equivalent for. I guess we do, but it's like, it's not even a word, right? It's a sound. And it's a sound of like, when something's really good, you know, over here you go be like, awesome, cool. Hmm. Oh, right? You'd probably go, aw. Oh. Okay. Well, in the UK, there's qua. It's like it's with a it's with like a K or a Q. Almost like this is like that's common. Like everybody does that. Oh yeah, like it's a thing. Like uh, Mark Hale's driving off the road. Probably, probably. But you know, when something it's almost like sarcastic. You're being but but like something that you really like. Oh, like like I. I can't even do it right now, but you know, I remember my grandfather does it, my dad does it, like it's qua. It's not like do you know what I'm talking about, Mike? Am I crazy here? Have you ever heard what I'm saying? I've I feel like I've heard them say like yeah. but never a qua. Yeah, no, it's 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 more of like a oh qua. You know, like I, I, I can't do it right now. I can't do it. Is but, it shorter? What kind of bread are you? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, one that one, one that's all his life. Dude, uh, Jay Money. I haven't heard from this guy. The Don. This guy, JT Money. It, you, you're still yeah. alive. I thought you died years ago. I haven't seen him in forever. And JT Money's in the chat. Wow. Yeah, no. you're alive, JT. How'd he die? Don of the Podcast Mafia. Yeah, is that a thing anymore? I, I did post in there today. Maybe that's why he's here. He's, nope, I'm dead. No, that's definitely JT, because he always couldn't spell. Remember? It's because he, he, I think he's doing that, like, talk to text. He's more illiterate than Travis of the, you know, Semantics Podcast. We have we established that earlier, that Travis is illiterate, uh, Ty, if you didn't know that. Yep. Uh, it, I didn't know actually. Yeah, me you, and Trab discussed it a couple times, and you figured it out probably by just kind of. No, he told me. No, he did. He was just like, "I'm yeah. illiterate." Yeah, oh. said it real stately. You think you'd want to work on that, like as a as a person? As a person, yeah, you would. Yeah, re- you'd, you'd reading's think. overrated. Yeah, yeah, yes. Uh, <laughs> anyway, anyway, 
Um, one of the things I wanted to mention to you guys is that remember uh, back in like the wrestling days of uh, the Attitude Era, there was a and he was a UFC fighter as well, Ken Shamrock. You remember him? Yeah. Remember yeah. Ken Shamrock, right? I actually worked directly with Shamrock when I <laughs> when I did Ultimate Fighter show. Yeah. Like, okay. I did two seasons. Uh, I did more than that, but he was on two of the seasons was, I worked. Was he okay? Was he kind of cool, or was he was how was your experience with Ken Shamrock? Mm. maybe cooler than you would expect but i still think he's kind of an asshole just a yeah bit. i got that impression i've only met him the once at like a uh con type thing you know it's, it was at starcast before the first double or nothing i did get to meet him i shook his hand i think i no, he was charging to take selfies with him so i didn't do that ah, uh dang. but I, but i didn't yeah so but he was nice enough you know he wasn't he wasn't like a real dick but he's also with like a conference type thing you, you, you know you're getting paid to be kind of like deal with the fans um either way what fascinated me about this is some, like a little fact i learned about him this week was that he wrote like he and he specifically did this he wrote an autobiography and we all get it in autobiographies. You're usually, you know, sometimes going to have like a ghost writer or somebody that helps you with right. the auto. But he was saying this was all from his words. Like he wrote it, right? So then he's in an interview, and I forget what the controversial topic was because he's been accused of several controversial things in his career. Uh, but he like he was called out. It was like years later, and he was called out after he'd written this book. This book is published. It's out there. Someone read the book, and this interviewer is asking him about this controversial thing that's in his book. And then he goes ahead and says that he was misquoted in his, his ah, autobiography. Bitch, you wrote the shit. <laughs> I misquoted myself. I do that all the time. So, I don't know. Is that is that just like a slip, or is that like, is he that dumb? Or like, what, what I mean, you... again, it could have legitimately been that he was kind of narrating to a writer, and the writer just put in well, yeah. something they thought was better than what he said <laughs> i'm not gonna say ken shamrock couldn't do an autobiography <laughs> but i still think the odds of that like him actually writing his own autobiography are real low his like, cauliflower uh, ears him... would get in front of his eyes to be able to write like i don't think that he's he, uh, like those things like he is if, he's if, bad. if you're if he had a hundred percent, if he's saying I'm one hundred percent wrote this, I would believe that about six to eight percent of that one hundred that he wrote the book. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it's it's highly unbelievable that he did that on his own, right? Like it, it's, a, it's a lot of fucking work, no matter who you are. It's yeah. a lot of work to do that. And I don't I don't know, man. I just don't believe it. No way. <laughs> Ken Shamrock doesn't seem like the type that's uh real gifted writer i want to i want to write my own autobiography i'm gonna start soon i think <laughs> i think i'm gonna start my own you should probably start now so that it'll actually get finished by the time you die well i mean there's so much to tell it'll never finish you know like it's it's the greatest story of any man that's ever lived so you what? can you can misquote yourself too if you want you know what i probably will like I want to write my autobiography and be super fanciful. That is, I like that idea actually. Is <laughs> is really make it seem super you know, proper. Yeah. Oh, it's gonna be good. You, you watch. You'll read it. You'll. I'll do the audio. The audio book is where the money's. That's, ah. that's what I'm gonna do. The audio book. <laughs> that's, that's how you really get ears on it. Read the story of my life. You know, everybody wants it. It's it's what the people demand in the publics. Um. Yep, and just the Publix. So my friend installed one of those. Um, you know, everything's smart now. You got like your, right. you got your, your lights. You got your uh, ring doorbells. Now you got you got your Nest thermostats, right? Mm -hmm. Well, they got the uh, smart water valves for your house that you can put in between. Essentially, like you know, basically where it like drains out into your sewer system like you can hook up like in between that you can put a smart water valve so you can understand every aspect of your plumbing situation and get the metrics on it is it telling me how many turds are coming through the line it exactly tells you how many turds that's what he was horrified by it was like yeah this is but it does it tells you 
like your friends come over, how many turds they're doing. Like it's it's it, and it gives you alerts like, oh, Mikey came over, dropped another deuce in, in my toilet. You know, like there's there, it. Mikey it, did three flushes. He, uh-huh. Holy smokes. And so now I got to have a conversation with you and you come out like, hey, man, you know, we're a two flush, you know, household like this. Uh, you're, you're, uh, well, you can here. you can prorate your flushing. You can right. charge. You can just say, "Listen, Listen there's three flushes yeah, here. Yeah, you yeah. only get one freebie. Yeah, the, the uh, other two, according to my water bill and I, uh, usage, this is going to cost you like six dollars a poop. Yeah, yeah. That's six dollars <laughs> a poop. I think that's a fair price, Ty. Six dollars a poop yeah. is a good six dollars a log. Yeah, yeah. Six dollars <laughs> a log is about what I charge. Yeah, that's uh, around here. It's the going rate. That's with it's taxes. A, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah it's go, we'll include the tax, but yeah, you know, going rate six bucks. Six bucks these days. First, you know. Listen, man, you, I'm I'm eating the taxes up, on this. You, if you sign up for auto pay, we'll give you a dollar discount. Fifty cents. Fifty cents. Yeah, yeah, that's better. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wouldn't that that would that would be kind of odd if the, we did turn into a land of like paid toilets because people would there would be an app developed within minutes of like here's where all the cheapest toilets are. Make sure you shit yeah. here. Well, you know that's a thing in Europe, right? You got to pay a lot of places to use the bathroom. You got to pay like you got to have like at least fifty cents or something on you. And, like in Europe, it's very common in like bus stations or things like that. Like it's usually public, like public areas. Public, right? Yes. Yeah. If you're if like you're if you're going at a, to restaurant, a restaurant or something, you can n- poop, right? Yes. <laughs> well, I don't. I mean, you should not be shitting in restaurants, in my opinion. Period. Like I think that you're an <laughs> animal if you don't get that out. I mean, if there's an emergency, there's an emergency. But you should not be going. It's like the guy, like that does this. It happens on so many flights, man. You've got the whole airport to shit in. But some guy will go into that fucking airplane bathroom before the plane takes off and shits in that thing. And that motherfucker, gun to the head, gun to the head. Like, I I, I despise that human being because I know they were doing that on purpose. Maybe if we do regulate our pooping, maybe if we we charge for pooping, the the restrooms will be less less occupied because that's what I'm saying. Send them for I'll drop. I will. I will drop fifty cents if I can get a nice quiet poop, not next to some like animal next to me in the next stall. Like if I get the whole bathroom to myself and I can just ah, you know, because that's my thing. I pooped twice today at work. And both times, I'm like, ne- yeah, twice. Like, I couldn't get my morning one out, and then I need to go again after lunch. Um, but but uh, all on the clock, by the way, because of course. And uh, and both. I know t- you like to pay to get poop, get your uh, your poo out, but uh, I mean it when I say I can't poop at work early, dude. Man. Unless well, I need like have an emergency, I can't do it. The coffee was doing a number on me on the second one. Both of them, actually. And I need, yeah, this was, it was somewhat of an emergency. It wasn't going to hold the whole day here. Like, this, I, like, I, I much prefer shitting at home, but this was like a, yeah, a necessity. And I really don't like shitting next to somebody in the next stall. It turns me off. Like, it just, like, a whole thing. Like, I don't like, I, sometimes I'll hit the flush button so it makes the noise so I can really give it the good. You know, like, <laughs> like, you know, would mask the noise a little bit. Do you ever do that? Like, I, I, I'm, I'm conscious of my, my, my mud butt. Sometimes today was a mud butt day. It's, it's, and it was I, falling out. I, yeah, I, I feel bad, but like, I'm gonna have to, like, I'm gonna have to flush this thing like three times here. And dude, so the the bathroom at work, we only have a, it's one room. It's unisex, oh, no. uh, and there's only one toilet. No. So you you have like a solid like seven by six room to take a to take a poop in. Like if it, it it's kind of big. Well, it's like, good when you're shower, but it's, right? okay, you're but right. you but you oh, feel. Oh my god! Did I tell you guys about this? Well, not you did I mean, tell I us. Know about it, we but... know about it. You told <laughs> us, uh, but be quick because we got to get to clips. But you did have a crackhead sort of try and take a bird bath in your shower in your didn't try this this bitch 100 did came in while i was dealing with other customers and we're generally 
like the bathrooms for paying customers only. Okay. Sorry. That's what it is. Um, and she kind of like slunk in there while I was dealing with other customers. And then the people at the bakery are like, Hey, that woman hasn't come out yet. And I'm like, fuck. Uh oh. So I, I pound on the door. And as I'm pounding on the door, I hear that like the sink is running. I'm like, okay, maybe this bitch is like about to get out. Um, cause the sink's running. Nope. Like 20 minutes later, still not out of there. We pound on the door again and she eventually gets out and I look in there and it's just water, like dirty brown water uh, all over the fucking floor. You street urchin. Get out of here. Oh, we ki- we kicked her out, told her if she comes back, we're just calling the cops on site. Like, don't walk through the parking lot. Stay off the fucking property. You well, are not welcome here. Get the fuck out. Did she look better when she was cleaned up? Or was she... I mean, she did a before and after. can't wash away crackware. Oh, that's true. Yeah. They can't <laughs> wash not, away sores. A, that is a dirtiness that lives upon your skin. Yes, the sores will remain. But the, yes, the filth is now left at the vegan chicken restaurant. Uh, that sucks, man. Oh. Ah, sorry. Yeah. It happens. You know what I think it's time for? I think mm-hmm. it's time to bring forth the clip. Clips. Clips. You know you want them, baby. You know we got them, baby. You know you want them, baby. You know we got them, baby. Clips. Yeah. You know we got them, baby. Clips is the time of the show where we take a look at all the random stuff that our good buddy Tom, the Clip Commander, finds for us on the internet. Uh, if you just give me a second here, I'll get those pulled up for you. You missed some of the technical issues earlier, Ty, but uh, Ooh, you know, and like. Classic. You know, like software these days, they're just like, hey, we're going to update you. Like, you don't want the update, but they do it. And then they're like, yeah. And then they're like, oh, okay, thanks. And like, there's a lot of that. Oh, it's the cone. Yeah, the cone is there. So if the cone is there, then that means beware, uh, perhaps. Uh, I had a terms and agreements fucking update in the middle of my fucking Diablo game the other day. Yeah, like, unacceptable. Can you not do like, that how, before how the game you? or before Dick. I do my show? Like, yeah, I don't mind, but now? Fuck yeah, you. right now? Like, uh, yeah, I'm with you. I'm with you. What's the date? August the 20 something? Yeah. Uh, 6th. 5th. I got it. I got five, it. I got six. the clips. They should be here. We're about to find out and uh, and roll with this. Oh, yeah, we got it. Okay, we got him. Uh, this seems pretty cool. So uh, it's something they do in Alaska for the 4th of July. Is they're, like, uh, launching cars off this cliff. So I thought it was What? <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> If you like Alaska reality shows but hate the Hollywood drama, come with us and we'll show you the great land. This is Alaska, Alaska reality. Here with Marty, I already love Marty this. Moffitt from the Alaska Life, and we're here at the Glacier View uh, Fourth of July celebration. Can we move in with these people? I think I like these people. I, these are my people. I'm okay with these guys yeah, already. I like them. And we're going to have a car launch. And just <laughs> going to have a car launch. Go Good old fashioned so car launch. We'll uh, check it out a little bit later. All right. Party. There's a good party going on there. Oh, yeah. National anthem before the car launch. Absolutely. Wait, why are they playing our anthem? Alas, what? <laughs> oh wait, I thought they said Canada. Sorry, sorry. Alaska. We own this one. The Russians truck. sold it to us. Yeah, I hope they don't launch that nice truck. I see. This is like the pre. This is the parade. I think before the launch. You gotta get all your Hummers out, your classic trucks, your kids, your little kids on four wheelers. 
Your dirty cars. Maybe that one's that one's getting launched for sure. Yeah. That one. That looks like a launch. Yeah, that's a launch car. Yeah. That one also yeah. also another launch car. Ooh, that looks like a good launcher. Yeah, I like that second one. I like its chances in this launch. Do you, did the fireworks go off while they launch? Happy Fourth of July! This place looks fucking awesome. I want to go there and hang out with the launches. All right. Oh, it's zip lining somehow. Okay, so because normally everything right. runs behind schedule, and we are running way ahead of schedule. It is two thirty right now. Oh, yeah. So they are doing the best they can to get everything together because once we oh. start being productive it's going to be busy busy so they're getting a lineup ready they weren't going to be ready to launch till three o'clock so they're doing what they can this guy's MC and he's like i know you guys are hungry for the car launching but we gotta it's yeah. not ready yet it's folks. not ready yet guys. calm down yeah he's stalling and we got everybody back far enough and just we'll repeat one more time. If you see a tire coming for your head, step aside. <laughs> Don't stand there good and advice. look at the tire. Good advice. If you see a car coming at you, don't stand there and say, <laughs> I don't know what to do. Step aside. Good advice. Five second countdown, boys. Here we go. She's going to be coming over the top here. Well, I don't know when we're going to start. Five. 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 Three. Two. Three. What? <laughs> you son of a bitch. Launch the car. Here's the car. He's going to come over the hill now. Whoa! Oh, that's a good car launch. Yeah. Into the lake. Right into the lake. Through the trees, into the lake, they launched the car. Guys, that, what do you rate that car launch? I mean, that was pretty high for me. That was a pretty high. I think it can get better for sure, okay. but still, that's that's pretty solid. I'm yep. gonna give it. I'm I'm gonna go low. I'm going six nine. Yeah. Six nine. Okay. All I'm, right. I was gonna give it just a straight six. All right, I could have right. done more. I'm a little, I'm, 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 I'm a seven point two on this, but, okay. but you know, okay. I, but you know. Hell yeah. Look at him up there. <laughs> they are happy about this car walk. <laughs> All right, let's check out the next one here. We might have to move that line back a little bit farther back. No, I don't think so. You're all right. Snow machine. Whoa! A snow machine. What? Wow. Ah, <laughs> uh, nah. Five point seven. Snow machine. Nah, five point seven. Snow machine. I did not enjoy the snow machine as much as the car. Uh, this is a car launch. I'm a car launch running. traditionalist. Five, four, three, 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 three. Uh, oh. That's a good one. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Solid launch. Didn't make it through the trees. First one's still the best. Five, five. Yeah. Can we make it blow up in midair? Come on. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, this feels good. Yeah. Uh, yeah, a little oh. fire. A little. Oh. That's money. That's yeah. That's money. That's an eight two. That's an eight two. Seven, the best I've, one so far. I'm, Seven I'll agree. five. I'm I'm on it. Eight eight two. I'm with you. Nine, eight, car? Oh, oh, car launch. Jumping off the cliff. Here here we go. I love that these Alaskans just have a big hill. What do they do? They just put a. Do you think they just put a brick on the pedal and let it go? They have to. I know. I want to see the behind the scenes. <laughs> like they got a, They clearly have a ramp. Ooh. Ooh. And it's on the edge of a I cliff. I think that was a cop car. Yeah. It might have been. Yeah. They they have a ramp on the edge of a cliff. They shift that get thing into gear and they just chuck a like weight or a 
yeah, like a brick on that thing and they jam it in and it just goes on its own and then they crash to just make it jump over the cliff. What a good sport. I feel like I could do this pretty well. Yeah, like, you'd be good at I, this. I, I think Ty, I could make be... a show out of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your police record shows it too. <laughs> All right, last one here. GMC. Wow, oh. GMC here. Uh, oh. GMC, you disappointed. Little too heavy, didn't get enough distance. Crowd is boo. Like the pickup truck is the number one for me. I think the uh, pickup was... truck. I think it wins. Well, that thing it landed on its roof and then just slid to a stop. Yeah. It didn't even roll. Yeah. Um, behind the scenes of Mortal Kombat 1. <laughs> so this is how they, like, made those animations for the characters. Oh, the nut punch. Yeah, nut punch. What car- what, what guy was this? I forgot this guy's that's name. That's Kano. Kano. Uh, getting punched in the dick. That's right. Is that right? Yeah, I think that's yeah, right. Yeah, he knows. <laughs> Kano getting punched in the dick here. Mortal Kombat See, was was weird though, right? Like it was one of the only ones of its time that did this, where it was like actual, like it wasn't animation necessarily, right? It was like Street Fighter. It was, was a way of motion, ca- early yeah, motion capture, early motion capture. But they used like as close as they could to like photorealistic. Um, yes. <laughs> and he's, dan- oh, he's doing. The, he's doing awesome. all. I remember that. Yeah, I, do remember, I remember that too. Is this dancing? Yeah, it is kind of fascinating. Like they, this is how they did it back in the day. Like, but Mortal Kombat again was was ahead of its time because of this technology. They were using those as like. Yeah, the this is before we had all the little the, pads that they put on your body. Yeah, they the were little like capturing the, it with video and then translating it through. Yeah, the video. and like the, without like remember all the like the little balls to go like the ping pong yeah. balls. They, I think they're better than that now. I don't even think they need that now. It's just I think they can do it with like like you said like little tiny sensors like little. Yeah, they put on those body suits. They have little sensors all over mm-hmm. in the important mm-hmm. spots. But this shit, like, even though it's cool to watch, it it was difficult <laughs> to translate. Yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely. This it's interesting. And it me, came though. out pretty good. Like, oh no, I, I Mortal did. Kombat games were fun. Yeah. They looked pretty good. I was always mad because I had the I had a Super Nintendo. And uh, my friend had the Sega Genesis, and I think on Mortal Kombat on the Genesis had the blood, and Nintendo didn't. No blood. You could, I think you could unlock it with a Game Genie. I think that's right. Because I, I had a Game Genie too. Yeah, I had a Game uh, Genie. I remember doing that. I think, but my mind could, like could be another game I'm thinking of. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, but moving on. Cats anti-smoking commercial from 1986. Uh-oh. Someone is smoking over there. Oh, look. Like, oh, it's like the Oh, cats. it's like Cats Cats musical. Yeah, the cats. musical. <laughs> with thick dark hair. What a disgusting thing to do. Cats have 9 lives with 8 to spare. Humans have 1 with none to barter. Why do they smoke? Why don't they care? Humans are smart, but cats are smarter. Listen to cats, you men and women. Take care of your lungs. They're only human. The American Lung Association. All right, I've got a hot take right now. First off, the musical Cats sucks dicks. (laughs) Second, most musicals, if not all of them, suck dicks. Broadway (laughs) as a whole kind of sucks dicks. Don't like Apparently, it. Apparently, you haven't gone enough because you'll get laid every time you go. Well, you might get laid at at the show. Like you, I've gotten a handy at a Mikey, show. Mikey, am I wrong? No, nah, man, I'm a big fan of the musical theater. Ah, so. yeah. Rocky Horror Here's Picture Show is like musical. the only good one. Yeah, I mean, that is pretty great. <laughs> but still, I, I'm not going to hate on, on, on theater. I'm not going to do it. I hate it. Double take, hot problems. It's I think official video. Also, cats would fucking smoke more than us. I don't care. They would. 
Ah, uh, double take here. Look at me and tell me the truth. Okay. What do you do? Ty, people don't you're not allowed to get a boner to this. They are clearly through. underage. They see my blonde hair, blue eyes in class, but they don't know I have a really big face. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> hey, what? I what? what? Hot, but textbook perfection Oof. really takes Classic parents with too much money. Uh-huh. Like, Mm -hmm. Age of these two can't be tamed. <laughs> Only wants missionary sex is the most boring fuck you've ever had. I guarantee it. 15, 16, <laughs> right? Something like that. Uh, ooh, maybe I shouldn't have talked about sex. I don't know. They might be too young. I don't know. I mean, they're talking pretty slutty here. Uh, this is I the guarantee they're not good in bed. I'll say that much. This is the problem. <laughs> With America, right Thanks. here. Hot girls, we have problems too. We're just like you, except we're hot, 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 hot. <laughs> At least it's a good song. I'm into it. I do relate, you know. I'm such a good-looking guy. Like I got problems too, you know. Like I'm and a sometimes hot... you gotta lie. Yeah, and so I get it. You know, I get what they're laying down. You know, I relate. I got the look, I got the butt, but me, those yep. things don't make me a snap. Oh. Boys call me stuck. Girls say I'm conceited on behalf of all hot girls. Those comments aren't needed. Just because I'm pretty, I have to be dumb. I don't care about wits. I just want to have fun. Wait, wait, hey. Uh -huh. Did we catch what uh -huh. just went on there? Like there was. Oh, he sorry. said, "She said literally because I'm hot, I just have to be dumb. People don't care if I'm witty." Oh, she's that's a good freeze frame. There yeah, you go. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was <laughs> trying to. That's what I was trying to illustrate. Yeah, she's she made, is making the handy. She motion, is making but... the handy, and she's about to rhyme fun with cum, but she doesn't. Like and then and then as she's not doing it, she's doing the jerk off blowjob, jerk me in the face motion. These little whores, get out of here. Get get on. Get, get on with your way. Get on with your way. Uh, Gary Busey. But they're hot, Owen. They're hot. Is a Gary Busey deep fake we need to see, apparently. Uh, so, <laughs> so I think Gary, yeah, this is Gary Busey talking to some radio show host or something. And, uh. It's like I've a seen deep... a couple of Gary Busey clips yeah. lately that were pretty good. I think I think for some reason people are deep faking Gary Busey is like the new a new trend. Uh, <laughs> you can so... say whatever you want, and people are like, <laughs> "Well, that I could see Busey saying that." Yeah, yeah. it's also terrifying because look at old Busey here. It, it is AI Busey, I think. A damn problem. <laughs> here we go. Is it AI? Yeah. You said you're in the room. I thought I was you're in. Waiting. I forgot to hit join. You're hitting eight minutes. I'm waiting. I was waiting too, Gary. <laughs> I was Maybe. waiting too. Are we already recording? <laughs> you got damn right. I only I have a hard out. Well, here we are then, guys. Welcome to the Jeff Richards show. <laughs> okay, Not so funny. maybe no. I don't think this is actually AI. I think I was wrong. What I think it is, it's yes. It's like a deep fake. So it's like there's a guy, the Jeff Richards show here, the host. He's nervous because. He had an interview set up with Gary Busey, except it's not Gary Busey. It's some dude using, like, a filter, a, like, a Gary Busey filter on his face. And he's fucking with this guy. He's like, I got a heart out. <laughs> so, so here we go. I want to hear the interview now. This is Jason Tibor. I'm filling in for Jeff. And I'm very excited to be interviewing somebody that I've been watching on film and television for what feels like my entire life. Uh, because going through your disc, your uh, filmography here, some of these films were before I was even born. What an illustrious career, and I can't wait to talk to the great Gary Busey, everybody. Well, it, it, if you take five and you add five and you add 10 and you add 10 and you got 20, you got infinite kindness, you got infinite gratuity. <laughs> and through that, you can find something that's a perpetual. Wow. Energy, like you're drinking that coffee. There's something spiritual about that. So I think this guy's good. Whoever's doing the the, the Busey right now, 
uh, behind the filter has got the BC down. Like he's got. The... <laughs> I love it. I love it. My departure, and and my entree in were almost the same thing, and they're almost on the same day. Um, it's actually tea. <laughs> it's not coffee. Uh, but I hear what you're saying. What you're essentially now, you're very big guy about been looking up a lot of your videos and stuff you're really into meditation you're really into being present you've gotten some sort of uh later on in life or maybe in your career or i guess they're both intertwined you became very spiritual much more than you were earlier in your days what what caused that was it because you had a motorcycle accident nothing in causes anything nothing yeah. causes anything <laughs> yeah. if you look at something and it's nothing there what's What's the difference of figuring out what it was in the first place? I mean, you know, these are these are <laughs> metaphors. By the way, what is your name? I didn't even get your name. My name is name. Jason Teba. My friends call me Teeb or Teebs, and, and Mr. Busey, you can call me anything you want, buddy. Well, earlier I was going to call you an asshole because, <laughs> you know, I don't know why you were waiting. If it, if it says click join, you click join. Am I wrong? <laughs> you, well, you turned out to be dead right. Uh, with that you know i haven't used this whatever this service is that you are you and jeff are using here and it looked like i was in and i and i, I was waiting to join and I he's in the zoom the meeting join button there so i do apologize yeah i know you're a busy guy i don't want to waste your time sir apology accepted it reminds me when i was in the movie buddy holly i was like there were there were there were, there were catering jobs and there yeah. were no catering jobs and i did a catering job this must have been like three years before in the same area. And and, and that can be a problem. And you must understand that you go to Chinatown, you get Chinatown, you get nunchucks. Well, now you can't get nunchucks. Before you get nunchucks, and they hit yourself on the, on the hand, you go nunchucks. Because it, it hurt, but you didn't want to say ow or anything like that. You just said, so th this is the divine intervention. Uh, you could become a spiritual guru on your own, but you just have to tie your shoes. And you just have to know how to eat burritos backwards. <laughs> is that your... I love it. Whoa, whoa, okay, whoa. Love it. This is unbelievable. I, I wish we could. We might be able to do it. Let me figure out how to get Gary Busey on the show. Dude, we'll it out. I want this. Aye, I want aye, this aye. Gary Busey on the show. So this whole thing is forty-one minutes long. Like Holy it's, it's, shit! He has the guy. The guy is. I think the guy is convinced that this he's. It's not a joke that this is Gary Busey. Go to place for nunchucks. Is that Chinatown or what? You said you can't get them there anymore. What's you got to eat burritos backwards. You didn't even catch that. that. A good reporter would have asked me about burritos. <laughs> uh, I'm not anybody anywhere near a good reporter, but I do have some hard ending questions I want to get to. I want to get to burritos. I want to. And the, the reason I think it's real too is this guy is doing every stereotype of like the YouTube or um, personality. You're like the podcast host, like me, you know. Like, oh, but I do have I'm some so hard hitting humble. questions. Like, but he's trying to get there. He's trying to do an interview, right? He's trying to be an like an actual. Get he's finally got his big break. He's doing an interview with goddamn Gary Busey, and so he like he keeps going back to it. Go backwards. It, it, you eat it backwards. You know the leaky part starts going first, and so rather right than rather than tend to that and have a bite out of the leaky part, you go on the other part, the dry wrap part. And it gives you almost no time to eat the leaky part, and it's just a fun little game you can play with yourself. Kind of like a beat the clock while you're eating a burrito. You beat whatever you want. I don't know. I'm married. Are you married? <laughs> How many times have you been married? Well, yeah. Jesus. What's a few? Three. More than three or less? Than if I get into numbers, then what am I getting into facts for? Do I look like a native Navajo Indian? Do I look like I'm trying to claim my land back? I already have my land. I live in Malibu. <laughs> and if I lose my land, that's okay because sand gives me my sand is the only witness of the divine preacher. If you All can right, see it, let's, you can feel let's it skip ahead like 20 it, minutes. It I bet tomorrow. it's almost exactly receive. the same, but still great. <laughs> All right, so we'll go halfway through. We'll go right about halfway through. See. You know, if you look for cow heads, you'll find <laughs> cow heads. And I said, that's just something else, isn't it? So I followed that, and I found a cow head, and underneath it I found a, a, an arrowhead. So I, I believe in anything and, and everything uh, combined and, and, and multiplied and divided by, et cetera. Do you think that's one of the... <laughs> Fucking great! So moving, we'll go right to the we'll go to the end now and just see how they, how it wraps up. 
he that was his that was his God given name. His 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 father's name was O O. He had his name legally changed to the letter O and the last name to the letter O. And he was considered a prophet at that time, and 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 he was, I think, for the people that people that Bartim, I would say the Bartim and Jays people, and then also the, the Seven Bartim. Up factories that were just just unloaded. I mean, they would dump an entire Seven Up factory out of the back of a truck, and and people were expected to move it. This was the this was the ingenuity that was that was happening at the time. Holy Christ! Uh, do you still ride motorcycles? That's one of the last. Qu- I know you have to. Go I do. I do. He's going to ask that. Now. But they're not the kind you think. They're little electric ones. The little toddlers would, would use. I enjoy, you know, I enjoy <laughs> just the little tiny ones. It gets me to stretch my groin, if nothing else, because I gotta, I gotta put the legs way up yeah, in the seat. The knees so up to you got to knees got to be, and you just you don't go very far. It's do you not wear a helmet? You, you wearing wear a helmet right now. Helmet of God, the helmet of our Lord. I, I, I am I'm, this is, uh, bounty, and you are the sea, and I'll take you with me. You and I don't know, man. I could probably this listen to all, were, the whole hour of that. Saying. This is what the, <laughs> the jur- It's one of the greatest things ever. Talk to me. I got to go. This is. I'm getting a phone call. I'm getting a phone call. I got to take this well, phone call. Gary Busey, it's been a pleasure. Jeff yeah. Richards, thank you for having me fill in. And uh, God bless you, Busey. God bless you. Merry Christmas. See you Merry next Christmas. year. Merry Christmas to you too, sir. <laughs> <laughs> the ramblings of a madman. Outstanding, though. Out- Quite classic. Out- Fantastic. Fucking standing. All right. One or two quick ones. Um, Richard Simmons sings a duet with a Canadian musician. Just have to believe in Anne Murray. It's got to start here. Oh, I love Anne Murray. Start there. Anne Murray is actually kind of awesome. <laughs> Look at this. Look, they're on like a, a boat in the middle of got, the ocean. The wind is blowing through their sails. They're having a moment. Have you have not ever jammed Anne Murray? I got a. I got. I, I think, think I got an Anne Murray vinyl somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> you see who you can be <laughs> and tell yourself it's time Aww. to say there's more to me. If you just take care of you, then you can make it through. You can do it. Oh, he's a sweetheart. You can do it. Oh, this is beautiful. If you try. Oh, I needed this inspiration in my life. Jimmy Chonga and Marie. And I can tell that after they got done filming this, go. Richard Simmons had butt sex with Anne Murray. I definitely, <laughs> the doggy style butt sex. Like, there was like, listen, th- girl, girls aren't normally my thing, but can I just put in your butt? Is yeah. that okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think Anne Murray pegged Richard Simmons. You don't know. Well, it could have been. That became, that became part of the conversation afterwards. Yeah, yeah yes. that was second time around. That was second boat trip. Yep. That was second boat trip. Uh, karate rep. I don't know this one. Right. Oh. Oh. Karate. <laughs> oh, we, I think late this to relax oh. and breathe. Oh. Years ago. Keep training. Yeah. Get it. Yeah, remember this now. Itch, knee, song, she. Come on, everybody, train yep. karate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This white guy's gonna tell you to do karate. Come on, everybody, train karate. Wow. So, some. This is a little weird. It's a little problematic. 
right? Little, just a little. <laughs> a, I mean, the geishas, the geishas aren't helping. No. Good thing the song's good. Oh, wow. She could get it, I guess. Karate. She could train me in karate. Do you think there was like a bunch of kids that got into karate because of this song? Do you think this had like I, any impact? I hope so. At, you know, are you asking if a boner ever got somebody into karate? Yes, yeah. ultimately, yeah, yes, yeah. more than likely. <laughs> we need to send this to Petrozelli. streets i have no fear i always know my karate is near i never have to fight and i'll tell you why no one wants to fight with a samurai i'm a samurai and that's better yet i got the kicks got the punches is samurai the even a thing was that a thing i don't think women no. in that era of japan were allowed it, to be samurai no, no i don't think so i just want to mention to release the tension karate Ooh. train your body i train for fun i'm a show gun Train your body. I train in my car. Wait, what? I'm a ninja. What? That, what? What? that was a stretch there. I train in Whoa. my car. I'm a ninja? <laughs> You're throwing a lot of things that don't mix together, but it's it's okay. White <laughs> white people do love claiming that they will be a ninja. Yeah. Oh, throw the mic stand out of the way for how rocking this is. Come on, everybody, train karate. Train karate. That guy doesn't I know. Bet you, I bet you there's some Japanese folk out there that fucking love this, though. You think so? I don't <laughs> yeah, know. They, because they it's so so corny, so dumb and, corny and terrible. Yeah, I yeah, yeah you might be right. I like how this guy, like, I don't know anything about martial arts but to me he strikes me as more of like a dancer actor type than a karate type and it's don't... like fucking what's his name uh anakin skywalker uh, what's his name christopher Hayden what's his name yeah, yeah, that's yeah, the yeah a little bit yeah i can see that <laughs> what in the goddamn world <laughs> Oh, she's horny for a black belt. Karate on the street, you know, you can stand alone in a fast on your feet. The signal goes off, your adrenaline quickens. One good punch, and then run like the dickens. Come on, everybody, train karate. Karate, train your body all the time. Fuck. Fuck. Kumite. What you say? Got a karate life with my karate wife. Two karate kids in our karate home. A karate dog. He's got a karate bone. <laughs> wow. All right. That's all I got yeah. for that one. I don't have the patience uh, for any more of that I, shit. I can't say. I, 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 I love it just because it's that bad. Oh, yeah. it's pretty bad. <laughs> uh, last clip. How about we throw back to one more car launch, guys? I mean, <laughs> we need another car launch to really hype this this clips up, I think. It's, uh, it's Are they gonna do another snow runner? <laughs> we missed the first one. Let me back it up here. Oh man, that's it. Oh, okay, here we go. Car launching. Car launching. We got the planes flying over for this one. I'm gonna go to this car launch, guys. Oh, there's already one down there. We missed. They missed the camera. Missed the first one. Oh, oh Alaska car launch. Oh, I love it. Alaska car launch. A little bit of America for it. Yes! Oh! Yeah. 
<laughs> that is now that. that That's right a good there. one. That. Oh my god. Where am I? That's the best car la launch I've seen in a while, guys. I, I think you That's... really gotta you gotta attempt to get the sideways to get better. Roll, I, I like a know? good sideways car launch roll. Oh, we got another one here. I didn't realize that was coming. Here we go. Whee! Oh, and that was wow. Okay, into the trees. Good distance, not quite my favorite car launch yeah. though. Need more destruction. Yeah, I like the sideways roll. All right, here we go. I feel like they should be launching fireworks out of these things while they're flying. Well, <laughs> wow. Oh, oh, that's some distance. Oh, I feel Whoa! good about it. Top Ooh, over. I like them. Top, oh, top over top. That was a, that was a good launch. Felt pretty good. That was a good launch. I could watch these for days. Oh my god. Wow. Oh wow. Keep going. Keep oh, going. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, weak by the yeah. end. Weak by the end. Anyway. Car launches are the shit. That was clips. Clips! Clips! You know you want them, baby. You know we got them, baby. You know you want them, baby. You know we got them, baby. Clips! You know we got him, baby. Clips. Ooh, yeah, that was 1961. What was <laughs> it mom. now? What? Oh, that's your mama. She got she got fucking yelled at oh, for yeah. playing Anne Murray too loud. That's awesome. Aww. My mom also loved Anne Murray. Can't help it. I never heard of Anne Murray. If I'm being honest. Uh, there's I must there's at least on? one song you probably know if you heard it. Yeah, uh, I mean, well, I can't remember what see, the fuck it's called. But you know, we had different types of things like that. Like my mom would have had different ones growing up in the UK. There's like there's certain artists that like wouldn't have made it over. You know, like I'll ask yeah. her if she's ever heard of Anne Marie, but it wouldn't it wouldn't surprise me. If it, it was one of those kind of softer, it, but 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 that's still what she I could see her list. Things. But I could see yeah. her listening to that, but I don't know if it ever made over that. Maybe Mark would know. Like maybe Mark Hales, he listens to this show. But I'll ask Anne my Marie mom. Is fairly, fairly famous. Yeah. I mean, yeah. So, Mikey, before we get out of here, we are wrapping yeah. up the show for the week. I saw kind of we all, we have a mutual notepad here, um, and I saw that you were asking when you should remove your nose ring. Like, is that an age thing? Like, what age is the right age for the nose ring? Is that where you're going with? Well, a buddy what? of mine, uh, a good buddy of mine, Tom Van, he he asked me today, he said, when are you when are you taking out the nose ring? Uh, and honestly, I just rude. didn't have a good first answer off, for him. First off, rude. R very rude. Like, you're a supporter of this man's product. You've, don't, you, you've helped prop his empire his castleberry empire on your back with that nose ring i have pay, paying you know the the dues of the bdm and he's gonna just straight up just insult you like that i bet you that was sam's idea to put ah, you i bet you that was a I, sam I, was. I bet I you so i bet you sam he had put him some, up to it i bet you sam had something to do with that because she is a pretty awful human as we've discussed a hater yeah uh, and, and you know what, Mike, to the death with the nose ring, if, as, as a friend with you, for you, you, I think to the death, you go wear it, and, wear it till I keel. Yeah. I think, I think you should. I, I don't see any reason that you need to take it out. You could, you could you, you like your nose ring. If fucking you, wear yeah, your nose ring. If you like it, you like it. And, and fuck Tom Van. Well, with his most, most of my piercings fell out you know, during work at some point. <laughs> you, you could be like, you could say to Tom, "Hey, when are you gonna stop looking like a stereotypical white douchebag?" You know, you could mm. say that. You could say that, and and well, he's not gonna have an answer because he, you know, so he doesn't care. So why should you care? Well, I think, you think uh, Tom goes the hair cuttery. No, he oh goes no, on Liberty. <laughs> yeah, we know okay. where. Okay. Yeah, oh yeah. He got told like because he had terrible hair. He got told where to go, and now it's the only thing because he has to have a standard Lego Man haircut, and then he gets the fucking yeah. He, Isn't he gets his hair told. Still bad. Uh, well, his hair's like decent now, but you know, right. it, I'm just because he, he goes to a nice barber. <laughs> but he had to be told that. 
He has he has to be told everything about his style. You don't have to be and told. Had, and his you wife controls everything about yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Just like Travis gets told everything to do by Sam. You think like he wants Sam to wear is, those little orange bird no, t-shirts she so he matches that, his wife's dress? What a cuck. She is, yeah, what a cuck. Like, he really is. He basically is forced to wear everything that she puts on him. Like, oh, do this. Go to Disney with me. Like, oh, uh, yeah, yeah. He's like, put on your little bow tie, Travis. Yeah, he's like, I like big titties. So that's all, like, he then he just goes along with anything because that's all she's got, really, is just big titties. And I don't think those are real, man. I, I don't think, think they are. That, I've been questioning it myself, too, because I've given her a couple hugs over the years, and I'm like, damn. No, I'm not sure. I'm is not that, even sure. Is that right? You know, I don't know. <laughs> like, I have my suspicions. Like, it's part of the thing. Like, uh, it just doesn't, I don't know. Doesn't feel right to me. Doesn't feel right. Doesn't, mm. <laughs> I don't know. What? what, what? Yeah, what? I mean, I'll, I'll what stick to my words. What? Huh. Well, <laughs> keep your nose ring as long as you want, Mike. Keep as. I want to be. I want to be collecting at least a you're social honest. security cat. Well, at least you're honest about your body manipulation. Other than you know, it's different than other people. I think I'm gonna wear it until I get a social security check. Which, guess what, guys? We're not getting one, so I'm keeping oh, it forever. Yeah. I'm going to try and get, like, like my, uh, well, I'm not going to say my parents, but my parents, I'm going to get a bunch of different passports, then get all the checks from everywhere, and then I'll have all the checks, and then I'll just, you True know, international different... man of mystery. Yeah, yeah. exactly. That's... That plan sounds like it works every time. <laughs> and then I'll run up all the credit cards in all the places. I'll have all the money. It's genius. Yeah. I never have to pay it any of it. <laughs> yeah, you know, you know what else I'm never getting rid of? Huh. This here soul patch. No, oh, you're you're, you're soul sold. Patch. You're sold on the soul. It's it's patching well. You are patching it pretty good. I do, <laughs> I do. Uh, you know, I can't lie. Uh, you know, honestly, I used I was gonna New be era. mad about it, but I'm actually I'm kind of a fan of the patch. Your patch is looking real patchy. You know, real. I'm happy with it. Yeah. We'll do one more thing before we get out of here for the evening and your second dose of Ono for the week. But I was thinking about this the other day. Are there any TV shows that you're surprised still exist that are still on the air after all these fucking years? The news. All right. <laughs> that's not surprising. That's of not all the things. Surprising. That's not that and, won't go away. Yeah. <laughs> Even as bad it as it needs to. Is. Yeah. Well, it needs to be reformed and whatever. I'm not gonna talk yeah, about right. that. But no, I was thinking oh, like Jersey Shore. Jersey Shore went away, came back, but that does kind of count. Survivor is one. I don't know if that I've ever, like I think that's been pretty fucking Dude, consistent. It's like that thirty years, still crazy. got him on the air. I had a lot of friends that worked on that too. Yeah, really, yeah. yeah. Uh, Bro, and people are still nuts about it. I, I think I'm pretty sure my parents still watch. Well, at least my dad. I know he'll still watch it. Still watch that shit. Um, obviously, you got your like standards, your Wheel of Fortunes, your Jeopardies, those types of things. It's like okay, I can understand those. Those are kind of like legacy. Will those when when like our parents' generation die, right? Like they completely die off, and we're their age. Will Wheel of Fortune and Jeopardy still exist? Yeah. And, like, will Ooh. that still be a thing? I, I think so. Two. It's already gone. It's already gone through like at least two generations now. I don't know. In my mind, I'd like to. I'd like to say Jeopardy has a little more of a hold than than Wheel, but it's hard. I don't know, man. I'd don't agree know. with you. If I was, if I was picking one to stay over the other, I'd say Jeopardy would stay over Wheel. Yeah, I think I'm. I'm and I like that. Wheel. Like I like. Yeah, it. I like it enough. I don't watch it, but I like it. <laughs> Jeopardy over the Wheel every day. Yeah, Jeopardy. Yeah. Jeopardy's the better game, like in my opinion. Like it's it's the smarter man's game. All right, now hold on, Owen. If it was a choice of Jeopardy, the wheel, and the Price is Right, and only one gets to stay, Jeopardy. 
Honestly, mm. I gotta go. It'd Jack. be a hard toss between Jeopardy and the yeah, Price Is Right, my no, man. I, I price Is Right is pretty job. great. <laughs> uh, some, JT threw Family Feud in there. I mean, that's that's been around for ages. Is uh, uh, <laughs> is Drew Carey still on there? Uh I no, so. I think it's. Who they got now? Drew no, price Is Right. I don't Who's think it's price him anymore. Right. Oh oh. Oh, maybe you're right. Don't maybe tell it's me it's Carlton right. again, because Carlton seems to get all... I don't want Carlton again on anything. <laughs> it was it's still good. Drew Carey. All right, good. Don't give Carlton another job. Like, that's... that's. I'm... Yeah. I'm calling the episode that. Don't give Carlton another job. I'm tired of Carl- Carlton. He's he's shit. He's a fucking... Oh, uh, see, I was going to say Steve Harvey. It is... Isn't it Steve Harvey? No, that's Family Feud. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> yeah, I know that that's one. That's exactly what I meant. Yeah, no. Not not fucking that one. Not Price is Right. Price is Right has been Drew's gig. I like Drew on there. Drew's good on there. Imagine the money he's been like silently raking in by doing that show for years and years. It's got to be over a decade now Drew's been in there. Easy. Yeah. Easy. I'm sure uh, he gets since 07. What how long? He's been there since 07. That's insane. Dude, imagine. I wonder what that contract's like. He's probably. Dude, he's probably made millions off of just standing there doing prices right shit. Oh, I'm certain. Yeah. That's insane. Dude, he looks. He does look completely weird now, though. Because he went all like bushel, like bushy beard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like (laughs) Drew Carey, though. That's okay. Yeah. You know what? I like this show. I loved the Drew Carey show. You know what I think they should do is, you know how there was this whole debate when uh, Pat Sajak retired and they were like, oh, who do we make the new one? And now it's going to be fucking Ryan Seacrest. Like, fuck, no one wants that. Like, whatever. (sighs) What I think they should do is kind of like how they do or used to do the old Tonight Show things. We host like the pre-show or the after one or whatever, and then you kind of get like bumped up into things. So like now Drew Carey hosting the Wheel of Fortune, because we were used to him on a game show. Now it's like oh he gets like the upgrade, right? He gets to go to the fucking main event spot, host the Wheel of Fortune. I'd be into that. I don't know I if don't, Wheel of Fortune know. is right. a bigger thing than. Then the price it's, is right. I, though. Think I, I kind is. of agree. I think that's that's a halfway decent argument to make. I, yeah. I, I think you're looking bigger, at two sides bigger. of a prime time coin, yeah, and but, one is just later in the evening, no, and one is well, the, 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 well, the day prime. No, I I, I no, because price is right. It's always on in the day. The evening more. spots. The yeah, that's the money spot. And then when you get Drew Carey in there and doing the Wheel of Fortune thing, now you get Mimi from the Drew Carey show to be the Van, uh, Vanessa Van, Vanna, Vanna White. Vanna White. Yeah. And then she's uh, spending no. the fucking... Yeah, no. that's, that's the fucking <laughs> ticket. That's the money right there. Vanna's Vanna till she dies. She yeah. Listen, yeah. you know that they're not going to do it because they could have already done that when he started hosting the price. They could have had Mimi come out as one of the... Price is Right girls, and they didn't fucking bite. I like me. And now even fewer people know about the Drew Carey show, so they're totally not going to do it. I heard I heard that uh, one of your first uh, jack-off experiences you told me one time was to Mimi. That, that blue eyeshadow, Mike, you really got you going. And, uh, and... I told you that in confidence. Oh, well. <laughs> Ty tells me things in confidence, too. That, you know what uh, show we're on? Uh, <laughs> I just forget. I forget sometimes. O two. I forget. That being said, guys, maybe that's a good place for us to wrap up for the evening. Yeah, um, a Mimi <laughs> masturbation thoughts. Yeah, let's wrap it on that. Yeah, let's wrap it, like up it on uh, on that. That sounds about appropriate. We thank you though for uh, for joining us. Uh, do you want to help me with some plugs there? There, uh, there, Mike. Some, yeah, sure. Uh, hey, everyone. We really appreciate you listening tonight. Uh, if you'd like to contribute to the madness, please go on over to our Facebook group. That's Facebook slash groups or Facebook.com slash groups slash Oh No Radio Show. Uh, and you know what? If, if this is your first time and you want to listen to it more, just go to your podcast aggregate, type in the Oh No Radio Show, plug us in and keep listening. 
If you really, really like what's going on, head on over to our Patreon, patreon.com slash ONRS. There, you can drop just a couple bucks, I think it's like two, and that'll get you started listening to our premium content. That's interviews with all of the cast members, all of the friends of the show, Drunk Driving on the Moon, which is our conspiracy show, before another podcast stole the idea and ran with it like the thieves, thieves. they are. God but folks, damn. we really appreciate you listening. If you're listening on Twitch right now, please subscribe. And there's a really cool thing you can do with your Amazon Prime account. Just subscribe to us. You can subscribe to us every month. It sends us like three yeah, you got, bucks. You got to link. You got to link your account. So you link your Twitch to the Amazon account, right? You link them. It's pretty easy. You do it on the website, and then you can just like subscribe every month, and it gives us free money. It gives us free money with zero charge to you. Do that, please. It helps a lot. Remember to do it every month as well. Set a reminder. That's twitch.tv slash ONRS live. I yeah. mean, said 407-906-6466 if you ever want to leave us a voicemail like Brian did today. And, mm. uh, boy, what do we say when we get out of here? Eat it, Satan. Hail! He is the Satan of the moon. You must hail him. Hail! Oh, and thank you, Jay, for, like, the free iPad. That helps a lot, too. Give me free stuff. I like, I like free stuff. It's good. Thank you for that. I'm going to go take a free poop.